Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our very special Sunday stream. And I am super excited because for today's live stream, we're going to take a look at this new video from ALR, probably do that first. And then we're going to get into some concerning footage that has actually been released yesterday by Foodie Beauty. We'll take a look at that as well. And I think there's also a new video from Hungry. So maybe we'll check up with her towards the latter half of the live stream so we can leave on a more positive note. Shake off those bad vibes. Welcome in everyone. How are you guys doing tonight for our very special Sunday stream? I hope you guys are locked and loaded because we've got a good one tonight. Yay. 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 <laughs> yes. Welcome in Eileen. Girls, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Sunday fun day. Sun's out, guns out, right? Girl. <laughs> Hi, Skeletor and Maddie and Mr. Zongi. Welcome. You like the hair? Do you guys like the new hairstyle or do you like the old hairstyle better? Because I have a different stylist this time. <laughs> different stylist this time. No Amber vid. There is a new Amber video. She just put it out 35 minutes ago. So I figured off the top, we can get into this new video from Amber, right? See what that's all about. I was thinking like, if she didn't post, we would also, even if she didn't post, we would witness a historic moment, right? She failed her 100th challenge. <laughs> her 100th challenge fail. What's the footage? Foodie Beauty on the Beach. We'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. Fun and fresh. I want to get into Amber first. Honestly, any of this could be considered concerning footage. <laughs> the whole live stream is our concerning footage, honestly. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Her thousandth challenge. 100. Who remembers one in the chat? If you remember her 100 days of trolling, that was my come up for sure. Yeah, the nose piercing is new. Nobody noticed it at all on any of the videos. I thought maybe they thought that I had like a pimple or something and they didn't want to point it out. But no, it's not a pimple. It is a piercing. <laughs> Y'all remember the 100 days of trolling? Yes, that was her come up. That was Amber at her peak, peak brightness on the iPhone. Today's also a historic day because we are saying goodbye to Twitter, apparently. I don't know if you guys have saw this, but um, no more Twitter. It's going to be called just X, like just the letter X. I don't know why, but it's Elon, his idea, I guess. <laughs> I just think like, I don't know. It's been Twitter for as long as I can remember. Everybody knows Twitter. Everybody knows what a tweet is. Why are we changing it now? I don't know. But also, like, I, I was the person that freaked out when they changed the Instagram logo. And now, like, you look at that old Instagram logo and it was like, ew. Good thing that they changed it. No, not done it, Claire's. No. A friend did it. <laughs> I also didn't go to a piercing place, but you guys know me. I have a very, very good immune system. Why rename it? I don't know. Yeah, is it not a tweet? I don't think it's going to be a tweet anymore to compete with threads. Well, people are already saying that they left threads and, you know, threads just wasn't the tea. You know, Twitter's been around forever. Everybody's over on Twitter still, so. X is his child's name. That is true. His child's name is X Ash A12. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, X Ash A12. Didn't Gr I feel like Grimes came up with that name though. Elon didn't come up with that name. It was Grimes that came up with that. So you can thank her for that one. More P. 
I don't know, more pee. I, I don't think they're going to get rid of the pee because look what happened to Tumblr when they got rid of the pee, like everybody left. But also there's no pee on threads. So I guess that's what Twitter has going for it. Although I did notice that they kind of, it used to be that you would scroll Twitter and you would just see pee randomly. And not so much anymore. You have to kind of like look for it a little bit, which I appreciate because, you know, I'm not always at home. Like I could be in Target scrolling Twitter, you know, and I don't want P coming up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sometimes time and place, right? Like Tati said, time and place. Okay. And you did it at my birthday dinner. They're still on Tumblr. How comes nobody uses Tumblr anymore? I got an email today from Tumblr and it was like, this is what's trending on Tumblr. And I was like, what? Does anyone use that anymore? They brought it back. Too late, right? Too little, too late, Tumblr. Nobody cares anymore. That was like, you know, kind of a renaissance for emo people. Because I had my emo days, my peak emo was MySpace 2008. I had like 9,000 friends. I thought I was hot ass, but we would do like follow for follow. And I would follow like every single emo person in the tri-state area. And we would do like pick for pick, PC for PC, picture comment for picture comment. Am I going to get a foodie beauty cameo? No, I'm not paying $25 for that. Are you kidding me? I'd rather buy dinner. <laughs> Yellow card, like the band Yellow Card. I remember them. Ocean Avenue. Ocean Avenue. Is the shirt suede? I don't think so. I think it's just a cotton moment. I don't know. Maybe a blend. I actually don't really like the shirt that much, but it was one of those things like if you buy Stitch Fix... If you buy everything in the box, you get 25% off. So I liked the other four things. I feel like I'm Amber keeping something I don't like. But no, it made sense. Because if you buy four out of the five things, it's the same price as if you bought all five because they give you a discount. So I just kept it. Like, I don't care if I don't like it that much. Gets you that Shake Shack. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. $25. Kiss my ass. Adam Rains, thank you for the super chat. Good hair tonight, my dude. Stay well. Thank you, Adam. Is this a new feature? Yes, you can like, you can heart the super chats now. That must be a new feature. Look at YouTube stepping up their game here. I was thinking like on Twitter, you know, I will get behind it. If they add like... So you can upload videos on Twitter, right? But you can't make any money. Unless you're like famous. So you need like 5 million impressions, girl. Like I don't get 5 million Twitter impressions. I probably get like 400,000 maybe in a month. So they need to open it up to like, you know, smaller people. <laughs> V, thank you for the super chat. For your foodie beauty cam cameo. Just kidding. You look great tonight, Alex. Thank you, V. Thank you. It's not Twitter. It's X. <laughs> Nothing is as good as YouTube. I know. I wish someone would come up. I feel like Twitter is like... They have the best chance of becoming at least a competent uh, YouTube. Because none of these other platforms are even competent. Unless you're talking about live streaming and then Twitch is pretty good. But when it comes to like uploading a video, no, none of these other platforms are really all that competent. Unless you have like a specific niche that needs filled. You guys know there's some sites where, where it's like, you know, the kind of videos you're going to get when you go on there. <laughs> Um, the best Celeste. Thank you for the super chat. My daughter says lemon egg instead of lemonade. Can I get an eggs, please? Thank you. The best Celeste. Of course. Of course. Eggs. 
Levin. Eggs. <laughs> kick is trying to rise up against Twitch. I keep hearing about like kick. So I was thinking about making a kick. Like, I heard you can, like, do whatever you want. You can say, like, whatever you want, and they won't take you down. That's the draw, apparently, of kick. Because Twitch is, like, really... I heard Twitch is even stricter than YouTube. Like, if you... I don't even know. Like, they'll kick you off for any reason. If they just don't want you on there, they'll kick you off, you know, of Twitch. So that's where all the problematic people go over to kick. <laughs> Maybe I'll try it out. We can really just speak our mind over there. Say whatever we want, guys. Filter comes off. Foodie should take that filter off. No, not the no, not kick messenger. K I C K. Like I'll kick you. Just kidding. I got this new perfume, kind of. It's like, I don't know what to call it. Is it a cologne? Is it a perfume? Is it somewhere in between? It's my new favorite. It's called Twin Flame. My nails look, excuse my nails. It's so good. It smells like cucumbers with like a musk. I don't know. It's kind of like unisex. I really like it. It's interesting. I wanted to get something different, you know, because I'm so cute and quirky and different from everyone else. What about threads? I kind of already fell off of threads. <laughs> I'll still post on threads because I followed a lot of you guys over there. I, um, yeah, I followed like the first 200 people that followed me. I followed you guys back. So I'll, I'll still check it out, but. I don't know, guys. It doesn't look so good. It doesn't look so good. Hi, Haley. Yes, I can see your comment. You like unisex perfumes? Does anyone remember like Kim Kardashian? No, no, no. Khloe Kardashian and Lamar Odom. They put out like a unisex fragrance. <laughs> I always wanted it, but uh, I don't think they make it anymore. <laughs> seeing as how Khloe and Lamar... Haven't been a thing for like 10 years, but I do remember that. I was a Kardashian super fan in like 20, 2011, 2012-ish. Okay, should we get into Amberland? Do you guys want to watch that first? Our cute and quirky girl. I feel like people have been waiting all day to hear from her. You remember that? You remember Chloe? Chloe? I saw that Kim Kardashian was hanging out with Tristan Thompson or whatever. Didn't he like dog Chloe, drag her through the mud, cheat on her in front of the public, and Kim's going to hang out with him? Like, are you serious? I just saw that on Twitter. I was like, are you kidding? Would you really hang out with the guy like your sister? No. No, 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 no. I don't know how true that was. It could have just been like a paparazzi moment. Maybe they were just at the same club. Well, we're going to start off today with this video from Amberlynn Reed posted 35 minutes ago. So we're one of the first people to watch, right? Cook with me, making mistakes. And what is wrong with my lung? OMG, what is wrong with my lung? All right. From a few hours ago. Is there another video? No, no, no. We reacted yesterday. What happened in yesterday's video? I barely remember. They all run together, guys. Oh, yeah. She admitted that it was... She's like... She's back to 2019. Like, we are regressing. This is the worst that she has been since 2019. Her eating, her eating habits, her mobility. Um, things aren't looking so good. I feel like I say that too much. Things aren't looking so good, but they never are. They never are. For Candy, they are. For Candy, things are looking pretty good. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my vlog. So I'm about to make some food. I don't know why that was like triggering for me. This is a moment. So I am making a concoction, okay? 
So bear with me. That's what I just said in the previous video. I wanted to see her make a concoction. <laughs> Remember when she would make Becky say, Becky, speak out on the chili. Speak out or forever hold your peace on the chili. Was it good? Was it actually good or did she pay you to say that? So first we have the pot. I'm going to add some oil. I'm going to add some oh. white onion that I cut up. I'm going to add some ground turkey. Ew. <laughs> no. Whenever someone says oil, I always think of this guy. This is so random. I was in rehab in 2018, right? <laughs> Do you guys like the rehab stories? <clears throat> Excuse me. And this guy, he was Muslim, right? And he was in the rehab. And he kept screaming, I want my oil. I want my oil. Because they took his prayer oil, like um, his Muslim prayer oil. And so he was screaming and having a fit for like the whole night until uh, they, because they took his oil, they wouldn't give him his oil. So until everybody was like, everybody came out of the room and was just like, give him his oil, give him his freaking oil. It's like prayer oil. Like what is wrong with you guys? So they gave him his oil and then everything calmed down after that. But I always think of that whenever someone says oil, oil, oil. <laughs> CC Wolf, thank you for being a member for 10 months. Hi, Alex. She's a law. She's gaining again. Mm hmm. Thank you, CC. I'm going to add some black pepper, a pretty good amount of it, some garlic salt, some minced onion. I meant to say minced garlic, some minced garlic. And now I'm going. You think Jade is gone? Yeah, she's staying in the double tree down the street. I mean, is there a room? There's got to be. It's Lexington. There's a hotel down the street. She lives in like downtown Lexington. To mix it all up. This is going to be a one pot meal. Um... My camera doesn't angle down anymore, so I wish I could show you what was really... Girl, you've been on here for how long? I don't want to hear the excuses. Um, didn't she drop off her tripod at the Goodwill? Like, come on. Sophie, welcome to Shookers. Our first welcome of the night. Welcome! Welcome. Wifey poll. Should we do a poll? Donde esta wifey? Where is wifey? First option in the back room. Second option, hotel down the street. Third option, she went home. Any other fourth? I don't know. Uh, no, just those three, I guess. So yeah, the options are she's in the back room, she's in a hotel down the street, or she just went home back to like New York or something, wherever she's, I think she's from New York State. That's where her family is. Yeah, the back rooms, <laughs> not the back rooms. <laughs> she's lost in the back rooms. Going on, but my camera Someone is like her. super top heavy so any farther down that i angle it it'll just like fall into the food yeah she's still driving amber around at least like the past couple like keep that in mind she's still driving amber around as of two videos ago so she couldn't have really gone that far right okay guys. unless she just left like yesterday so my meat is cooked my yes girl that don't look cooked that looks so pale like that meat does not look crispy. It does not look delicious. It does not look nutritious. Oh, we almost missed the super chat. Swamp Boogie Sue. Wifey is as far away as she can get. Probably. She's in Australia. <laughs> Thank you, Swamp. She's literally in Australia. She got the first flight out of there. Skinny Legend, it's good to see you. Just joining. Hi. Hi, all. Hope you love my new profile picture. Yes, her with that New York City hat. 
I thought that that looked whack. I thought that looked whack. My onion is cooked exactly how it should be. Now I'm gonna add tons of taco seasoning. I wouldn't say tons, but you know, a decent amount. Oh my gosh, Resident Evil food. <laughs> you know when you're playing Resident Evil and you see all the pots with like the flies and yeah, that's what it looks like. For sure. Stir that up. <laughs> this is probably where people are gonna be like, what is happening? I'm also going to add- Chili. Some salsa. Or why did I say chili? Yeah, <laughs> it's looking like it's becoming chili. Yes. Salsa right this on the meat. This is gonna be so good. People question my food, but I promise you. Keep in mind, I don't think wifey's eating this, so this is just for her. Like, that's a jumbo size. Like, that's you feeding your family of, like, that's feeding, that's like the Duggars. <laughs> 19 kids and counting portion. That right there. I know how to flavor. Pot I know luck. how things taste. Always trust a fat chef. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now I am going to add. Yeah, but girl, you didn't go to culinary school. <laughs> you did not go to culinary school. When I see a fat chef at one of these nice restaurants, yeah, I'm going to trust him. But he went to culinary school. Tapatio. This comes out so. You went to TikTok school. Slow. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to add some chicken stock. And then Chicken last stock. but not least. Wait, is this the taco soup again? This is like the taco soup, right? I'm gonna add some jasmine rice. Oh no. Yes? No? So now Maybe I'm so. going to leave it to simmer. Girl, you made this like five times. I am going to add a few more seasonings. I'm gonna add... Watch Zach <laughs> Zachary Michael will make this like by Monday morning. <laughs> Um, we, where is your man, Pondu? Thank you for being a member for two months. Not, I've seen her chili. I don't trust that. Thank you. Where is your man? And thank you, Mr. Peanut Butter. First time live stream, but I watch you all the time. You're the best. Thank you, Mr. Peanut Butter. And thank you, M, for the super chat. A little bit of cayenne. Some crushed red pepper flakes i do like putting the the crushed red pepper flakes on a lot of different things that they probably shouldn't be on but i like to add spice to everything okay let's end this poll because i know it can be kind of annoying to some people where is wifey 22 percent says she's in the back rooms or the back room 30 percent say that she's in a hotel down the street and 48 percent say that she you know, fucked off back home. So she's in New York. New York. <laughs> I don't blame her. I'd be in New York if I was her too. I like my food spicy, okay? And now, now I'm just going to let it do its thing. The rice is going to cook. And the chicken stock is going to evaporate. Boiled sauce and turkey. So this is how it looks now. It's gonna simmer for a minute or two or three, probably about 20. And I'll show you guys when it's done. All right, so here it is. I feel like this is like something that she can bees on. You know what I mean? Cause she makes a ton of it. Like I said, 19 kids and counting portion sizes here. She can bees on this all night, guys. Is finished. This honestly came out. You know what? I shouldn't be like so mean because it's not fast food. This is what she needs to be doing is cooking at home. It's delicious. It's nutritious. <laughs> it's not takeout. So she can get more points out of this or less points, I should say. My name is my last name. Thank you for the super chat. Alex, the least problematic reaction channel. I don't know. I'm a little bit problematic. Thank you, my name, Lem. <laughs> my name, my last name. <laughs> I see what you did there. And Holly Go Heavy, welcome to Sugars. And Hannah, welcome to Sugars. Welcome. Are you guys eating this? The rice looks crunchy. Doesn't she like al dente rice? Perfect. It tastes so <laughs> delicious. 
It's like a taco salsa y rice. I don't really know. Um, but it You know what this looks like? It looks like when you go to the score go to the store. I've had my broke days, my really, really broke days where so at one point when I was like my brokest, I don't know if I should even tell this. I would get a bar of soap and that's it. Like I couldn't afford shampoo. I literally just got a bar of soap at the Walmart and that's what I used. Sometimes I didn't even pay for the bar of soap. I didn't say that though. But anyways, this reminds me of like, you would go to the store and buy like a nor pasta side or whatever, or a rice side. This looks like a nor pasta rice side or whatever. <laughs> And thank you, Eileen, for the super chat. Welcome. Tastes amazing. I was definitely <laughs> craving like a comfort food and I do not want to order takeout today. So yeah, here it is. Delicious. Okay, so I have tons. At least you cleaned yourself. Yeah, true. Of leftovers. Thank God. No, not to eat. <laughs> This is one of them things where I feel like tastes even better, like leftover. So I'm excited for that. Feline loved it. So I'm. Girl, she ain't even there. You're not fooling me with this. Feline loved it. Pixar didn't happen. Her hand, or she's not there. If I don't hear her voice, if I don't see her hand, I don't believe for a second that she's there. And she don't have a way to like speak. You know, because she doesn't have a channel. She doesn't have public social media. She doesn't have any way to rebut anything that Amber says. What are we to believe here? Feline didn't eat that. Glad about that because she's such a good cook. Oof, it looked better as a soup. It really looked better as a soup. It looks disgusting now. You know, as a soup, it didn't look that bad. <laughs> Looks like the bowl is a little too small, but it'll be okay. I'll figure it out. Now I need to clean the stove because she's looking messy, but look how good that looks. I swear. Oh my God. It was 10 out of 10. Massively dirty stove. Shit. Sorry, guys. I always do that. Anyways, I said, um, Cowrie, thank you for the super chat. Your eyebrows are beautiful, Alex. Thank you, Cowrie, and welcome in to our Sunday night live stream. And what was I saying? Oh, yeah, it looked so much better as a soup once it got all congealed. Yuck. It looked yuck. To a now clean stove. Still looks dirty, but I promise it's clean. This is what I've been using for literal years. It's the Method All Purpose Cleaner in Wildflower. It smells so freaking good. Isn't Method, they have like more organic products or something? I don't know. I ended up buying, I mean, this was a while ago. Amber always has to have like the bougie, nice packaging. I'm over here, I'm getting the fantabulous or whatever. <laughs> What is that called? Like fantabulous? You know what I mean? In the purple bottle, you just put it in your mop, your mop bucket. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Like a whole <laughs> bundle online because not only was it cheaper, but I was obsessed. I go through weird stages where I like. Yeah, fabuloso. <laughs> Do you guys use fabuloso? Clean obsessively. But yeah, this is the best ever. The smell of it. I could marry it. <laughs> So I could marry orange chicken. Well, I'm LOLing, but I figured I would show you guys this because this is a really big question. Oh yeah, Windex. Windex is the goat. That is happening right now. People are asking what weight did I put in on the Weight Watchers app to get 82 points. I Yeah, this was this whole like point of contention. I wasn't going to pay to find out, you know, but every time I tried to look her up, 
I couldn't find like every time I tried to look up her points and put her weight in, I used like a bunch of different calculators. None of them worked. I thought she was a lie. Put in the weight that I weighed the day that I started. Five really? She's not lying. I have 31.2. And there's like rumors, people using some like knockoff calculators <laughs> online. Not how it works. Um, it's kind of creepy and kind of weird. But girl, no, it's not. What does she mean? It's creepy and weird. Yeah. 531.2. We're just trying to figure out if you're a law or not. Y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I be getting emotional at the drop of a hat. I was checking my Instagram DMs and someone's like, going to see the new Barbie movie. Wish you were here to dress up with me and my friends. Aww. And That's pretty sweet. Did you guys see Barbie yet? I'm going to see Barbie. I don't know when. I said on Twitter, I'm going to see it like this week because I don't really like the crowds. I'd rather just like go to a low key like Tuesday night movie you know what i mean that's me i don't like like saturday night there's packed theater no not my team theaters are like i'm like amber it's a trigger no i'm kidding, I'm kidding. it's not for some reason but i can see why it would be i uh got emotional <laughs> i don't know what it is i just appreciate you guys like reaching out to me and stuff like truly oh you did the barbenheimer I don't know if I have any interest in seeing Oppenheimer, but it was a masterpiece, really, Oppenheimer. Maybe I'll see it. I don't know. I can't do two movies in a row, though. Except, you know, the next day. Yeah, that's fine. You guys have no idea. Like, I know I focus a lot on, like, the hate and stuff because it's so loud and just, like, in my face. But, like... I see the support and I see the love and I feel there it. There are a lot of people that do care, girl. And I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate it so much. Like, especially during this time where I just feel kind of lonely and sad and <sighs> just not worthy. I'm working on it, though. And um, she's lonely, but I thought wifey was there. Is wifey, I could see wifey kind of if she is there, which a lot of us don't think that she is, but... um. I could see her definitely distancing herself. She's supposedly sleeping on the couch, so they're not even sleeping in the same bed anymore. Where is your man, Pondu? Thank you for the super chat. I saw Barbie and dressed up. You are Kenuff, Alex. Thank you. Where is your man? Where is my man? You dressed up. I did see a lot of people on Instagram like dressing up in all pink. All that. That's not really my tea. I think I look ugly in pink. <laughs> Probably because, like, I already have kind of a pinkish complexion. So. Every day I can just improve. That's the only thing I can do. But um, I'm just having a hard time. And I'm just going through and seeing all these sweet messages. And I just appreciate it. And I'm sorry I can't respond to all you. But I am reading them and I appreciate them. So You're the reason for the teardrops on my journal. Much. So thank you. Like you just never know what someone is going through. And um, any small thing can hurt someone. But any small thing could also just make someone feel really freaking good. And just appreciated and thought of. And that's where I'm at right now. So what do you guys think about the situation from yesterday? A lot of people didn't believe it. But Amber came on and said, if you didn't see yesterday's reaction, that somebody sent 100 little Debbie snack cakes to her PO box. Do you guys believe that? I was kind of thinking about it. I don't know. Like if someone did do that, you're just wasting money. Like, why would you do that? I mean, this is a woman who wait, you guys can't hear me. Wait, yeah, you can. That person must be a little bit behind. Anyways, yeah, 100 Little Debbie snack cakes. What? I don't know if I believe that one, but maybe. All right, I'm going to open my blinds. I mean, who would waste all that money? And I'm going to go for a walk. So that is it? what I'm about to go do. And I don't vlog and walk anymore. Some people do, some people don't. Should we do a poll? Did she get the snack cakes in this economy? <laughs> Maybe it's just like a really rich person. I don't know. 
How much is like a hundred Little Debbie snack cakes on Amazon? Because you know it was probably from Amazon. Right? Let me unplug my phone. I don't want to be that person that's like on their phone on the live stream looking completely disinterested. But I want to see Little Debbie snack cakes. Zebra cakes. <laughs> yuck, those zebra cakes are yuck. Oh, you can get it with food stamps. So it's about two fifty a box for the cheapest ones. It's about two fifty. I love these um, oatmeal cream pies. Mmm. I like those. I used to get those every day as a kid. But yeah, so let's see. A pack of 48 is $21. So realistically, you could get about 100 for, you know, less than $50. But still, I mean, who wants to blow $50 on giving, a, you know, someone with an issue their issue? <laughs> like, what? It's like sending a... It's like if you send MFW like a thing of beer. I don't know. Anyways, I could see it happening. I could also see it being a lie. You know, I'm kind of in between. There are some weird people that kind of live in the shadows of girl world. And, you know, the best trolls, or should I say like worst trolls, the worst trolls, like you don't even know them. They're not even, they don't even make themselves known. They're just behind the scenes, like pulling strings and stuff. So, um, I've been going on daily walks actually for almost a week now. And ever since I fell and tore ligaments in my ankle, I uh, don't do that because I was vlogging and walking when I did that. So, I'll see you guys when I'm done. So, not me. Girl snatched. Out here just staring at myself in the mirror just hating myself like oh my god i honestly feel like self-conscious about my underarms like bat wings too you know what i mean when it gets like too jiggly i'm going through such like that's my trigger what is that does that mean i need to do like machines and stuff to tighten that up i need arms i need better arms Cause you can really like that really helps your uh appearance like your sex appeal <laughs> all right did i see peter mon stalker i saw a little bit of that on twitter but i don't really know apparently like someone called his doctor or like they were following his doctor on twitter like what what could you possibly get out of that like <laughs> cheap thrills did she get the snack cakes? 63% think that, yeah, she did actually receive those snack cakes from a troll. And 37% say, no, she did not. So really, it could just go either way. Daily walks to the fridge. Should I do like power walking, but hold like some light weights? Leslie Sansone. Self-hatred? I talked about it a little bit in my last vlog. I just feel like I'm really struggling with that. Like, it kind of just reminds me of, like, something that I've heard, you know, people mm. talk about, mm. like, how they feel like their self-worth is only as much as the person you're with, like, makes you feel. Like, for me, it's like being with Feline, you know, <laughs> there was a lot of affection, romance, love, compliments. Romance. And she drastically made me feel better about myself. Like she made me feel right, right. normal. Whereas for the majority of my life, I have felt like monstrous, grotesque. People look at me like I'm a circus freak and Feline oh my made God. me feel normal. She made me feel like I deserved love and I deserved to be treated for more than like my size. And you know, I do feel I do feel kind of bad for her to say that like circus situation type deal. But also I think about all the times that she plays up that circus situation type deal. You know what I mean with the thumbnails of her stuffing her face. She profits off of that. And she throws it, she puts it in her face, and she knows the reaction she's going to get. 
So while part of me is sympathetic, part of me sees what she does every day and how she encourages that. I guess for some reason, like... Feline humanized her? I don't know. I'm just feeling like Mm -hmm. I'm just not worth love anymore. I don't know. I'm just... (laughs) Is Feline watching these at her man's place? It's in a weird... Oh, gosh. Weird, weird headspace. And I don't know. I I come on here and I try to be... It's a very negative As entertaining as possible. And, you know... I'm just not entertaining right now. I'm just going through some some stuff for sure. I don't know. I feel like this past month has been Amber Lynn at her most entertaining. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But people are watching more. People are more interested. There's a lot of drama. I don't know. It's a lot better than the post right after she broke up with Becky was probably the most boring she has ever been. Ever. Just my opinion. That, like, post-Becky era. But not, like... Yeah, like, right after the breakup where she kept everything, like, private. She was moving on with wifey, trying to lie about everything. Oh, and I do want to say that I have heard you guys, because a lot of people were asking, like, about my long and an update on that. Well... Oh, yeah, because remember a couple of weeks ago, or was it a couple months ago... Well, a couple months ago, she had a dangling lung, right? No. They misdiagnosed her lung as a collapsed lung. But it wasn't that. Now, a few weeks ago, she said that there was possibly fluid in her lungs. Something hasn't been right with her breathing for a few months. Now, I think it's safe to say that. Jen Chapin, thank you for the super chat. I've literally never seen anyone trauma dump so frequently online. It's nuts. Happy Sunday, Alex. Thank you, Jen. Welcome in. Welcome in tonight. The trauma dumping. It's every single video now, isn't it? (laughs) Just like last year, um, where the pain and the shortness of breath... And all of the symptoms I had, they kind of like vanished. Um, I'm experiencing the same thing where it vanished. My lung isn't hurting. Um, it's not making that like weird feeling that I was having. Is it dangling? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like really afraid for it to come back. Like knock on wood. But a lot of people were asking about that. So it's fine now? Um, so I don't know. It's apparent that this comes in waves. I just need to keep that documented and the symptoms that, you know, arise. When I-, I think it's a situation where, yeah, it's definitely because of her weight and it will get worse if she continues to pack on the pounds. And I think that it'll get better if she starts losing some weight. I mean, look at Hungry Fat Chick. Um, it was just a couple of months that she started changing, making some changes, some serious changes. You know, she's already dropped 40 pounds. She had a little bit of a backslide there for, I think, a week or so, but she got right back on that wagon. And you can just tell that she looks better. Her breathing's better. It hasn't even been that long, and she's already rapidly improving. Because while you're in that active stage of shoveling, 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 you're not going to feel good. It's not going to take that much to at least feel a little bit better. You know, and I've dealt with that myself where I have been where I was eating like crap and then I got my shit together and I felt better almost immediately. Happens and I always make sure to see my doctor when it happens and stuff. So, but for some reason I still have not gotten a call from the um lung specialist, which is weird because my doctor literally told me they are calling me. And normally I'm like super impatient, so I end up calling them and I just want to get the ball rolling, but I Yeah, girl, just give them a call. I mean, they always forget. (laughs) There's so much going on. Not to, like, down them, but yeah. Wanted to take your guys' advice and just wait for them to call me. And since they haven't, I think I'm just going to call them. But, yeah, I just Just wanted to give that update. Maybe a couple more days and then, yeah, just call. Y'all know what sounds good? She didn't backslide. She sidestepped. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It was, like, one day that she... One day where she fell off the wagon, then she kind of switched things up a little bit and got on um, a path that was probably better for her, incorporating some more veggies, not like completely carnivore, which I don't see any issue with. 
I'll show you, which I still haven't even had. Neither has Feline. Remember when we got these from the Dollar Tree? Uh, we got two of each. So That's go. exactly what Amber needs. Ice pops. Cool pops. We got two of these and two of these, but we have the other ones in the pantry. So there is like so many flavors to choose from. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I think I'm going to try some from here. Six of these is a serving for 90 calories. A serving? Ma'am, who eats six of these? I mean, that's probably easy to do, but I want either the cherry, watermelon, or strawberry. I mean, this just reminds me of being at my grandma's in the summer. I mean, I used to spend every single day in the summer at my grandma's house because my parents both worked growing up. So, and we didn't, we didn't go to daycare because my grandma lived like right down the street. So we grew up there. She would always call us in to get an ice pop. Come and get an ice pop because we had like a swing set and stuff. Let's do watermelon, which is the dark green one. That's how I open these, folks. Would you guys eat six of those? <laughs> how much sugar? I mean, that's all it is, is sugar, but... I think I broke my tooth. <laughs> Does she really? I was not expecting it to be so frozen. Girl. Oh. Girl. Uh-huh. So she didn't break I also tooth. want to try cherry, <laughs> which is the red one. I also want to try blue. Y'all. This is where it's at. Yeah, doesn't she have sensitive teeth? And she has to be careful? Like, I don't think that this is the tea for that. Mmm. Looks like I'm having three of them because now I want to try... Uh, Our girl has a sweet tooth. Well, this is better than a pint of Ben and Jerry's, right? She can have six of them for 90 calories. Not bad. Mary E., thank you for the super chat. Just got home from work. I love when Alex is live. Long time viewer. Keep being you, Alex Hearts. Thank you, Mary. Welcome. I hope you're enjoying your time off. Or at least, you know out of work put the feet up berry punch which is blue <laughs> mm. wait my favorite out of the three i've tried these all slap but i think the blue is my fave how many points are these okay you guys hello hello let's talk I mean, this whole video has been nothing but me talking, but I mean, that's what a vlog is, right? I just went on yeah. another mini walk with Twinksters. Mini walk. So that tells me all that I need to know. I mean, wifey's not there to take Twinkie out. I don't know. Something's gotten into me. I'm walking a little bit more than usual. So that's really good. But I want to talk about Weight Watchers. I she needs to work on that mobility. She needs to, you know, let Twinkie out. That's like, that should be number one for her. Even above losing weight, it should be like these walks and maintaining her mobility because once she gets back in that bed, I don't see her coming out of it this time. You know, in 2019, I hate to bring it up, she was bed bound. You know, Becky had to take care of her. And she even admitted that herself later on in the fall because she, I think she lost like 50 pounds fall of 2019 right she put it all back but you know she needs to maintain that that mobility because if she ends up back in that bad things will not end well I have stayed under my points for the last couple of days and I'm just like super swollen still and I just don't feel that good like I stopped the whole like girl why do you think that is is it because you're eating takeout food with soda <laughs> extra added salt why doesn't she go see the lipedema specialist or something she needs to keep that in mind i don't want to hear it veggies chicken sausage mustard cottage cheese i stopped that and i have felt like crap ever since like legitimately eating that way just made me feel so good so it's like i kind of want to go back to that life like i did yeah the chicken veggies cottage cheese why not 
I don't like the mustard and the cheese, but veggies. Did it a couple days after the breakup, but like, I don't know, the breakup has kind of messed with my everything, like my routine of life, my schedule, the way I do things. I don't know. So, um, yeah. God, was starting Weight Watchers a stupid idea? So many- No, girl, you need to do something. You're probably screaming. At your, like, TV, your phone, your computer. What is she gonna do? I mean, what does she expect? Is she drinking water? I don't know. She'll see the lung doctor over and over, but not the lipidema specialist. Mm-hmm. There was something- Why did she quit the lipidema doctor? Because- she couldn't do that diet because it was bad for her gallstones or something. I mean, girl, I feel like some things are just, some things are more dire than others. I feel like the lipedema is, comes first. Your laptop, whatever you're watching me on, you're like, Amberlynn, you're so annoying. I know. But was it a mistake? God. Yeah, why can't she do the raw veggies? on Weight Watchers like is she gonna come out with like being on WW allows me to have junk food well then don't have junk food I don't get it like pick a lane foodies drain rat thank you for the super chat hummus is the superior dip I agree 100% I had a lot of hummus with veggies oh the spicy red pepper hummus mm. my t t t t t but she does realize, like, you don't have to spend every single point, right? You know, you can eat, bring back your mustard and cottage cheese. What's the big deal? Why can't you do that on WW? I don't get it. I'd, I have stuff to think about. I feel like it was a mistake. Okay, guys, Why? so I just completed another one. Didn't she buy, like, a year of, or six months? I want to be Lego, so I wanted to show you. These are like the headphones. I don't know if I should. I think it might have been a mistake, guys. <laughs> here, let me fix that. It's supposed to go in this guy right Those here. Those are hideous. So these are like the little headphones that are connected oh, to a Walkman. The tape recorder, a walk which woman. does open, and I did make little cassettes interesting as you can see here oh yeah wagovi but remember she can't do ozempic because of her gallstones right she can't do anything because of the gallstones well how do we get rid of those like make a step forward thank you okay jessica times four made it from wisco to pittsburgh what's wisco oh wisconsin and you're in pittsburgh right now enjoy i haven't been to pittsburgh in a hot minute let me know how you like it thank you jessica so we can just put it inside and listen oh my god this is so freaking cute yeah i did that <laughs> i did that i did that isn't it adorable that back? This just helps me. This has been like helping me through my breakup, okay? This is It's tea. my little version of therapy. Look at her. Yeah, she needs to have her gallbladder rem removed. Right, but didn't they say the surgery is like too risky for someone her size? It's like she keeps hitting all of these roadblocks. What are you doing? Hi. Okay, you guys, so it is the end of the night and I'm getting tired. I do want to end this vlog, but... I can understand how she feels like she's kind of too deep in, but she has to do something. I want to do um, a question or two. So let's pick a popsicle stick here. Beezer Lynn. We got number <laughs> two. Can you guys see it? Two. Oh yeah, the popsicle sticks. She hasn't weighed in in a while, huh? What's your favorite weight loss snack? Well, it depends. Like, are you trying to be like super healthy? Or are you still allowing a little good good in there? Oh my God, the lighting. What is going on? A little good good. I looked up and I literally thought I was in like an interrogation. What? Ma'am. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I'm just gonna say like, when I'm being like super healthy, like an apple, I'm not even lying. 
but like if i am eating whatever i want just like in moderation or whatever i girl really it's like those never sweet- in moderation honey it's never moderation sweetie mommy snack plates let's get over that y'all i totally was gonna do another question but i'm really tired i'm a little high i took delta eight I took a little bit. That's what people were ex- were suspecting recently that she was taking gummies recently because in the previous video, she looked like something was going on. It's gonna lead her to bees more than I usually do, and it just like really helps with my sleep and stuff. So not gonna get mad about that. It also, I don't know, kind of like well, if it's at night, <laughs> my mood a little bit. I don't feel as sad so. But it's like literally my bedtime, so I'm gonna go. And again, I promise this face will have makeup on it tomorrow, so you guys don't have to stare at me looking like this. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. All right, that's it. Interesting. What did you guys think of that video from Amber? I feel like, yeah, it's been rather interesting lately. <laughs> Is Delta like schmedibles? Yeah, it's uh, THC schmedibles. Um, They sell that in states that don't have legalization because they sell it through a loophole. Um, But for me, it's worse munchies than anything, honestly. I never take eight anymore. No, 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 no. My mom took one and said she was hallucinating. (laughs) Which doesn't happen. Well, she claimed it happened to her, but it doesn't happen (laughs) normally. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. We went for the senior games. My dad came in fifth. So fun. A great city. Yes. Hey, Jess. Thank you, Jessica. And Joanne, thank you for being a beezer. I mean, a sugar for nine months. Hamburgerized bees. Yes. Hamburgerized bees. Using the breakup as an excuse to eat fast food. Yikes. That's so true. Thank you, Edie, for being a member for five for nine months. All right, give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. Quick bathroom break, and then we will get back to our T D T D T. as a feather stiff as a board light as a feather stiff as a board light as a feather stiff as a board work cover girl work it girl move your hips and smile for the runway waiting music i know i feel bad leaving you guys with nothing i feel so bad leaving you guys with Nothing. Should we get into this concerning footage? Um, or do you want to talk about Becky's community tab post? I don't think I talked about that on my channel. I guess we could talk about that quickly. Kind of good, kind of Beck posted a community tab post. Um, it was pretty alarming. So uh, this was three days ago. I've gotten a few messages about a fundraiser that was started for me and a few people have sent me Venmos and though I need it, I make $11 an hour, six days a week and still can't pay all of my bills. I mean, I am struggling, but I'm accept- but I'm scared to accept y'all's help because I don't want it to be like last time I asked for help. So last time was like the GoFundMe. Um, she made a GoFundMe after she left Amber. 
And one thing that a lot of people remember from that time is Amber was supposed to give her money. Becky was working for Amber, not only taking care of her, but on the live streams, Amber was supposed to give her half of the money that she made from the live streams. And that would have really helped a Becky out at the time. That would have really helped Becky out at the time because Amber was raking it in for those live streams. And people donated super chats knowing that part of it would go to Becky. So that to me just feels so shady, shady, shady. It's wrong. I'm dealing with so much on top of possible thyroid cancer. So she is having a cancer scare right now. I don't know anything beyond what she's posting right here. I feel like the earth is just falling out from beneath me. I appreciate everyone who has reached out to me with help. I really do. I'm just afraid to accept help. So this was her post from three days ago. I do think it's time for Amber to pay up. Honestly, that live stream money go back because it's all there. Like you can go back into your YouTube analytics and you can go back to 2021. I can see what I made in August 2021. That's when this was or like July 2021. See what I made. Give her a little something. I mean, come on. I think that's so wrong. Because she promised that she was going to give her that money. And instead of doing that, she invited wifey in to make things completely miserable for Becky, even worse than they were. So should we get into this concerning footage from Foodie Beauty? You guys have to see this. Like, yikes. Should we watch this perfectly imperfect video? Let's watch this. So this is from Perfectly Imperfect. Foodie Beauty says she's 370 pounds, but receipts show that it doesn't make sense. Let's take a look at this one. I want to see these before and afters right here. Remember these days when she was really looking like a funkle? <laughs> I kiss never fall. Recently in a live stream, Foodie Beauty told us she weighed about 370 pounds. Do you believe in aliens? I don't know. Hi, Tasha. When was this? Wait, let me bring up her channel. Her live streams recently have just been a complete joke. Like, <laughs> they're footage. They're concerning footage. They're not even live streams. Their footage. They have a veggie burger tourist. My weight is about 370 pounds. My weight is about 370 Lies. pounds. Lies. But let's take a look at a weigh-in she did on January 4th, 2019, in which she... Oh, wow. So even if she's telling the truth, she's been maintaining since 2019 shows us she weighs 365 pounds. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show you a before picture I took yesterday, so day two. I had BB take it. I had BB do this weigh-in. Oh, I didn't even do the weigh-in. Let's do the weigh-in, okay? <laughs> the weigh-in, here it is. I had BB do it because people wanted to see my feet on the scale. I don't, you know, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, Rach, thank you for the super chat. How's she get sludge from keto? but not daily McDonald's. Oh yeah, the sludge. That was Amber Lynn, right? There was some kind of sludge. <laughs> Yikes. Thank you, Rage. That's why she couldn't do like carnivore or anything like that. Or she couldn't um, do the lipedema diet because of the sludge. I creamed them. I cut my toenails. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yes. Um, so, okay, the weigh-in uh, from one subject to another. Yeah, gallbladder sludge. The weigh-in is... Um, so this is her at 370 about, 365. Um, she just looks like she has so much more life in her than she does now. If you just compare it to the foodie booty we know now 
for example, from this live stream, like, and it's not the makeup, it's just Natter took something from her. I'll put the, I don't remember what it was yesterday, but today it was like 364 point something. So it was just really, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm not eating, so there's going to be some weight loss, but I did some before pictures and, um, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to take some courage posting it, but you know, I think that that's liberating. I remember that picture. That was kind of an iconic photo in a way for me to post like a full body picture with my gut showing you know so i you know i had bb take a picture yesterday now let's look at a video she did today which includes some full body shots to see how they compare to what she looks like at 365 pounds confirmed this is salah being a shady queen does he know it's gonna get more views so nice <laughs> Salah knows how to play the game. This is like one of the concerning footage clips right here. She was out at the beach. We'll look at that more in depth. Obviously, when you do a comparison, you can see that her today versus her at 365 pounds are nowhere close. Right, it doesn't match up at all. And this is not to fat shame, but to draw attention to the blatant lie. When you talk about your weight and about serious topics such as BED, it's important to mm -hmm. tell the truth. And there was that girl, Rosie, who came on and called her out for her BS, doing feeder fodder every day while talking about, you know, bed. Leandra, thank you for the super chat. OMG, her toes are sinful. Hey, Alex. Hello, Leandra. Thank you. Welcome. Weight is about 370 pounds. Lies. Foodie beauty. Don't piss on us and tell us it's raining. <laughs> I'm pathetic. <laughs> wow. Okay. So that was from Perfectly Imperfect. Let's give her a thumbs up for that. It's really nice to have the side by side. Um... But let's go more in depth with her. Let's first take a look at this clip right here. Austin, Austin, Austin98. Thank you. Welcome to Shookers. Welcome. So this one was wow. Was it towards the end? Salah was playing. Okay, yeah, let's just watch this part. This live stream was so boring. I popped in just a little bit. And at one point, it got down into the 200s. Like, she only had 250 people watching. I swear to goodness. I thought 460 was bad for her. I posted that on Twitter. But no, it got down to like 280, 290 people watching when Salah started doing his thing. Because they don't want to watch this. But... Like I always say, it was a really, really good screenshot video. Look at Salah. He looks checked out. It's giving like found footage, concerning oh. footage. Okay. Oh my goodness. So it's, it's a struggle for her to just get to the couch. Oh, I have to step over the cord. That's why. Hi guys. Wow. And are there filters on? I mean, people have been saying, like, can we even trust this? Is this with filters? Or no? Does she still have full body filters? Or does she just have, like, a facial smoothing filter? Which, whatever. That's one thing. But when you're, like, changing your whole body... <laughs> <laughs> no. like oh, instagram dude. versus reality and that's one of her new shirts right like um happy birthday to you can she do that from here from do 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 re
Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. How much longer is Sala gonna put up with this? Bravo. Is this what he's into? Maybe? <laughs> okay. The next one is here. Oh. Like, is Salah taking care of her now? That's what I'm thinking. Like, Salah must be taking care of her at this point. Oh, that's fine. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. Is she, I posted on my Twitter, is she going to go back to doing mukbangs every single day? Like, uh, <laughs> she can't, right? You can't possibly go back to doing mukbangs every single day after this. Like, girly, get it together. But also people said that's all she knows. That's all she can do. Um, there's no other content that she can do anymore. But even so, people are getting tired of the mukbangs. Let's take a look at some of the views on these recent... Well, actually, I think I did look at them today already. They're not that bad. It's just the last one she posted was like... She posted it at midnight or something. <laughs> so... 12K, 10K, 13K, 16K... It seems like the most, the more junky the food, it's almost like the hungry fat chick effect. The worse the food that she's eating, the more views that it gets, right? Because what's worse than like taco or Applebee's, sorry. And all that food. Nobody wants to see her. And then she got Chinese food two days in a row. Why? For what purpose? Philly cheesesteak. Mm -mm. She said that she's going to come to Philly. I'm like, girl, try it. Try it. <laughs> I will be in Philly. If she comes to Philly, I will go to Philly. <laughs> we'll try to find her. It's in my backyard. Um, okay. He's playing nice because Monday is payday. Could be. I did say also on Twitter, like, remember how fun payday used to be? Like, Chantal would disappear for a couple of days and we all knew where she was. She was hanging out with Natter. And then as soon as they blew through, like literally blew through the money, Natter didn't want anything to do with her. And then she would come on and rage and we would all know exactly where she was for the past couple of days. She would come on and maybe um, do a quick mukbang or something in the car. You're an hour from Philly. Count me in. Yeah, let's do like a Philly tour. <laughs> no. oh. We'll meet up at Pat's and Gino's or City Hall. <laughs> Lombard South. All right, you guys ready to watch the beach one? Where's the beach? Should I go to Seaside Heights or Virginia Beach? I kind of, I'm, I'm feeling like a beach moment. Thank you, Anthony, for being a member for 10 months. She looks as big as Amber. She's also shorter. Mm. Right, because Amber is 5'3", and Foodie's 5'1", I believe. But, right, definitely not 370. It's not giving 370. Shadow Prince, PBC, welcome to Shookers. Welcome! Thank you for sticking around, Shadow Prince. I appreciate it. Gino sucks. I haven't had Gino's in... I have only think I had it once. South Street meetup. Yeah. People don't really go to Pat's and Gino's. <laughs> Unless you're like a tourist or something. I don't know. Definitely Virginia Beach. That's what I was thinking. It's pretty far though for me, but... 
It's not that far. It's like five hours. Okay. I think I'm about ready to go to the beach. I mean the, yeah, the beach video. Or should we watch like... Hmm. Beezer's in the dark. Beezer's in the dark. No. Salah. Yeah, I look better from the front. <laughs> Our shady king. Baby <laughs> shark. Oh, hell no. No baby shark for me. Let's go to the beach anyway, each. Let's go get away. They say what she going to say. Okay. <clears throat> Grab a drink, <clears throat> clink. Find the Miller Lite. <laughs> you don't like Myrtle Beach? In the window. Isn't Myrtle Beach <laughs> nice? You're already stay here. Yeah. 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 Clearly, they're not getting out much. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to get off soon, I think. Ugh. It's hot and it's um late. Hi, guys. Thanks, Teardrop. Bye, <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Shark. What's the Doja Cat drama? I've seen a little bit like her man is a problem or something. Doja Cat's man is like a problem. Or so I heard. Did uh, Sloan do a video? Because if he did, I'll watch that. Otherwise, I don't know. I've seen a little bit on Twitter. Y'all know Twitter always is ready. Ready to talk shit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see her on that beach. Grab a drink, clink. <laughs> Doja hates her fans. I saw something like that. Her fan was being like weird. In one of the screenshots, her fan was being weird. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh. Or bees, eh? What I just said, bees. <laughs> now it's uh, beach bees. Yeah. Beach bees, eh? <sighs> so this is like right across the street from their house, right? Amber said chesticles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> First, Erin <Renee. laughs> Energy. She's blocking the victims of her man. Yeah, I knew there was a lot there. I think he was a Twitch streamer, right? I should look more into that. Um, YDHB updates? I don't think so. The only updates she has on, on Instagram. She was ran off of YouTube. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can only cancel yourself at the end of the day. I, I firmly believe that. You know, yeah, but she 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 pretty much canceled herself because she hasn't been on YouTube in three months. Hi, Box. The summer vibes. Whew. Saw the rain. Another one, Sabrina. <laughs> Anyways, follow me on X. Alex underscore is underscore shook. AKA Twitter. Oh my gosh. I'm trying Hi to get guys. that Twitter up. Hello. I'm this close to 13K. It's giving Blair Witch vibes. I know. Buddy. We are making our way across the road to the beach. All right. Welcome, back. everybody. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're getting our vitamin D. Look at her mans. 
everything. Thank you for being a member for nine months. Hey, Alex, getting Taco Bell spicy potato soft tacos. Thank you, everything. Should I tell you guys my Taco Bell story? So I went to the Taco Bell down the street and they're, they literally had um, cones set up so you couldn't like turn in. So I turned into the restaurant next to the Taco Bell and I called them up. I was like, um, hello, are you guys open? Like, what's going on? It was 5 p.m., right? So, like, what was going on? She was like, yeah, like, give us, like, 20 minutes. So I waited a little bit. And then they moved the traffic cones and they put them in front of the drive-thru. So I guess the drive-thru was closed then, but that you could go inside. So I just left because they were being weird. They were being weird. It just, like, wasn't my vibe. So I just left and went somewhere else. That's my Taco Bell story. Oh yeah, how are they gonna cross that like six lane highway? Cool breeze. It's not humid heat here. Very arid and dry. She's not walking across that street, is she? Whoa, sand. It's all oh. sand here. It's like we're playing Frogger. Wait. I guess there's like nobody coming. There's a bus. bus. I'm not feeling Hi. that. Someone fetch the CPAP. <laughs> Seriously. I can do this. I'm just not feeling that. <laughs> I'm just not feeling this one. <laughs> There's not much traffic right now. Thank goodness. Yeah, so like during the day when it's all busy, like they, even though they live right next to this beach, realistically they can't even go because of all that traffic. Like, There's a mosque here. Fallout 5 looks weird. <laughs> Booty's drain rat. Thank you for the super chat. Remember Frogger? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was getting, like Frogger. <laughs> Thank you, drain rat. <sighs> okay. You like it out here? This is scary. <laughs> this is our first trip. <laughs> There's the mosque in the sun. Walk in traffic vlog. I might breathe heavy, but. Is this the first time she left <laughs> the, the house? Not shaky camera. Yeah. In like months? You're better to hold the camera, babe. Okay. Shaking, huh? Yeah. Okay. Hold it, babe. The water. Okay. Right? Where's the crosswalk? Better yet, where's like the. You know how sometimes you can walk up the stairs and there'll be like a path? You can go over the traffic, a little bridge, pedestrian bridge. They need that. Small mosque here for men and women. And also there's uh, WC. What's that? What's WC? Uh, Pete's. Bathrooms. Oh. Bathroom. I was thinking, like, what vibes does Pete's give? Pete's gives me, like, the vibes of someone whose brain. <sighs> How do I put this? He watched too much corn. He watched too much corn and it got weird. That's the vibes I'm getting from Pete's. Or oh, washroom. <laughs> Very beautiful. Wow, look at the sea. Hi, babe. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, give us that footage, girl. Oh, you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, corn addictions. Mm hmm. Queen Visa. So nice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Let's give Salah a round of applause for this fabulous footage. Thank you, Salah. He might not be good at um he might not be good at selling perfume, but he's a good cameraman. Right, uh, it is concerning. Maybe, maybe you have to jump here. Queen Beezer. Oh, there's a couple of people there. Are they fishing? Come on, babe. It's easy to jump here. Try. <laughs> there's no way she's getting back up. If she goes down there, there's no way that she's getting back up. Guys, you think she can uh, jump here? No. Just hold her hand. <laughs> Yikes. Beautiful sunset. You forgot about the perfume. I didn't forget about that perfume. I want Beezer spray. I want to go around and ask people to smell it. Hi guys. Can you give me an honest impression of this perfume? Yeah, is Salah being shady? There's rocks here. It's the beach. You're supposed to bring your own chair, girl. Yeah, no thanks. Come uh, try. No way. Well, no. no. Yeah, is this their luxury yeah. beach? So what? <laughs> it looks like today. New Jersey. Is that a, a ship? Yeah, big ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving Jersey. Yeah, where's Listen your your husband. bees or spray? Yeah, no stone. No way. This looks pretty hot. Yeah, teardrop. Now we can really say it's trouble in paradise. <laughs> They're clearly doing this on purpose. <laughs> I think the thing with her scale, it could be a situation where Chantal actually does believe that that's her weight. But the thing is, the scale is inaccurate. You know, because the scale only goes up to, I think, 400, maybe. It goes up to maybe 400. So when you're pushing that limit, I could see it reading out like 370, right? And maybe Chantal thinks that, like, <laughs> but it's the scale. Cam Nian, thank you for the super chat. Canadian mountain breaks ankles on Canadian mountain break, breaks ankles on Kuwaiti Hill. That was a mouthful. Is that the next headline? Thank you, Cam. I was thinking her headline would be um, prisoner. Canadian woman held prisoner in Kuwait for outrageous online behavior. Cyber criminal. <laughs> Maybe. I want to go swimming. Yeah. You want to go swimming, babe? So bad, yeah. <laughs> See, look, Salah's being held back. It's like a wifey situation where she wants to go off to do bigger and better things. She wants to jump in that ocean. He wants to jump in that ocean, but the only thing holding him back is foodie. This looks like a postcard. Like a woman about for key. Uh, oh, the postcards like y'all, like Chantal never sent out? Scammer? Someone called, uh, told you, benches do not belong at the beach. Yes, they do for people who need to sit down. <laughs> do you want to go show them a close-up of the water? I'm not going down there. You can? Yes, with my pleasure. Okay, guys, so Chantal will be in the chat. <laughs> Salah and wifey should link up. <laughs> LOL. Oh my gosh, Cam. Thank you for the super chat. I can't read that one. I can't read that one. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> Yikes. This 
like ASMR here. We jump. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Sala went down. Next, Sand Angel. What's with all the rocks? Don't look like a public no beach. Uh, here. Foodie's in the side chat. She sat down there it's watching like sand. <laughs> herself. Oh, she says in her own side chat, guys, I need to get in better shape. It's hard on my back to walk in the sand. So let's skip the Salah part. <laughs> beach is very nice yeah it is a pretty view it's relaxing and it's summer vibes summer vibes the sun Arabian <laughs> hi guys <laughs> look she is struggle bugging because keep in mind it's also like 40 degrees celsius over 100 degrees fahrenheit yeah. This is a classroom. I like to change the protein. The yeah. <laughs> Can you go? Uh, touch the wall. She water. can't even stand this. Sure. Okay. She wants to go home, and like Salah wants to stay. Can you? Yeah. Okay, I can. Okay. Be right back, baby. Okay, honey. Be careful, honey. Inshallah. He kind of reminds me of like her son. Like, I'm gonna go touch the water, mommy. Just wait here. Holly, go heavy. Thank you for the super chat. She should send free cameos to all the people she owes postcard money to. I bet most of those people wouldn't don't even want one. Like, um, her postcard club was like Lambo, plain cheeseburger, Sofa King. Those were her diehard beezers and they all left. So I don't even think they want one at this point. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. It kind of reminds me like on 600 pound life. It was so sad because some of the the moms like weren't able to play with their children. And so I remember I think it was like the first episode or something of 600 pound life. The woman got the surgery and then like they checked in on her a year later. She was running around the playground playing with her kids. It was such a nice story. Jalen. No birds. Yeah, I don't see any birds either. The Holy Trinity, yeah, they noped out. Let's skip the Salah footage. And he's gonna go bring her a shell. Like, look what I got, mommy. Mommy, 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 look what I got. A shell, a pretty shell, mommy. I have something for you, baby. <laughs> and she sounds like a mom, too. Oh, sweetie, that's, that's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Oop. Where'd it go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Thanks, Dad. You like them? Yeah, Why does she smell it? Julia will want to play with them. Thank you, Cabela. Julia will play with them? Yeah. I heard she gave Julia soda. <laughs> no, no. That's insane. Okay. Oh, so mommy, mommy, now? mommy. I wish I <gasps> she has a headache. My sunglasses, that's all. Uh, here's my cup, uh, or my hat. Oh. Now you're in new- she looks- Oh, look, she can't even fit it- fit the- 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 the hat. <laughs> Thank you. We'll give you a shade. Oh, yeah. Against the sun. Thanks. Come on, Salah, Thanks, open up the back. Her face is so rad. <laughs> So cute. Did you guys ever do the thing where you put the shell up to your ear and you can hear the ocean? It does help. You can't, but you tell kids that. Thanks. Because this Abaya doesn't have pockets. Oh, that Abaya doesn't have pockets. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yellow, keep moving. 
Uh, let's walk a while here, then we finish here. She doesn't want to. I'm I'm gonna puke. Yeah. <gasps> She's like a, a stroll out to the beach. Like this video is only 25 minutes long. A 20 minute stroll to the beach and she has to throw up. Like that's how bad it is at this point. Just, and she's like our like a a day long plane ride from home. Girl, is the anxiety setting in yet? Two minutes. I feel really dizzy. If you're dizzy, let's go home. <clears throat> She's dizzy. Hey guys, I feel really dizzy. <gasps> Did they bring water? Very hot. Do they have water for her? I got this. Yeah, it's a lot. Busy. It's really hot. Especially with my head covered. Is she really married to this guy? I don't... What do you guys think? Is she really married to him? I mean, here's where I get mixed up because they're not allowed to live together. Like, legally, in Kuwait, they are not allowed to live together. So I think by some some miracle, I guess they are married. I don't know, because the government would be breaking this up. They wouldn't be allowed to live there. So I really don't know. Don't kill her on the first day. <laughs> I guess they are. I'm trying to drink water, but I have a headache now. I'm just trying to encourage her. That's it. I know. Eh. Wow, it's hot. Especially if you're like, you know, if I was in a t-shirt, maybe it'd be different with no nothing covering my head, but I'm like full dress. So it makes it extra hot for me. <laughs> You know what I mean, babe? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I need to go out more and get used to it maybe, but like, oh my gosh, it's so hot here, you don't even know. Like, the temperature's probably, oh what, 40 goodness. right now? Yeah, 39, 40. What? Let me check my phone. 40. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. Yeah, like, that's where I get tripped up because they have to be married or they can't live together. Like, the landlord would, would make sure that they're married. So I don't know. Let's, I'm checking the weather. Oof, oof, oof. It's over 100. Every single day is over 100. 110, 112, 111, 113. Yeah. And it's up there. Do a poll moment. Mm -hmm. All right, the definitive poll, are they married? Yes or no? Okay. I can tell, baby, from the weather. 39, see? <laughs> Wait, that was at 130. 36? It's the minimum. So it's, it's gonna 39. Be, at eight, it's gonna be 40. It's going up to 46. It's 114. That's crazy hot. <laughs> Whew, a nice towel under the hijab? Maybe that would be a good idea, but it would get hot pretty, you know? Yeah. Get some ocean water. I want to go in the water. Oh, you think she might live alone? I guess that would be the only way that they would be able to, she would be able to live there. <laughs> or if she bribed somebody, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my head is pretty, like... It's really hot, you know? So I don't have a heat stroke, yeah. No joke, like I would never be able to come out here if it was like even an hour later. <laughs> heat stroke? Yeah, even the router become overheat. Oh my God, really? Yeah. The router overheated already, our portable router. That's how hot it is. Look at the sun. <laughs> portable router? <laughs> okay, Don't they just have like 5G? What do you need a portable router for? Yeah, just take breaks, yeah. It is super hot, yeah. Did she make it back? We haven't heard from her since. I mean, she put up a mukbang, but I think that was pre-recorded. We haven't heard from her since. Proof of life, foodie. Um, Do you want to end the stream or do you want to... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here, can you... She put up oh. a pre-recorded mukbang. Oh. Yes. Keep it here, baby. Give me. Oh. Yeah, the miser marriage situation type deal. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to like go up for a little bit and show you guys the beach, but <laughs> in the winter here will be better. Right, babe? Yeah. Much in better. In the winter. 
why didn't she go back to Canada for the summer? Is Wasn't that what they were supposed to do? That was the original plan. She said there was no way I was going to stay in Kuwait over summer because it would just be too hot for me. Um, is it just that she can't afford it or that the trip is too much for her? You know, now that she like, cause she gets worried she might need two seats and, you know, an international flight like that, that's not cheap. Okay. The last Plus two here. seats. She's not making money like she okay. used to. Okay, well, no, hold on. we're going to go <gasps> home now. Oh my gosh. Wait, let's replay that. She almost fell over. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay, well. Oh. No, hold on. We're going to go home now. We don't have far to go, luckily. Yeah, she's sick from this. So I'll see you in the next live stream. Just walking there. Oh, uh, yeah, she doesn't want to pay taxes, but she's still a Canadian citizen. So how does that work? Does she have to pay taxes or no? Because it's YouTube money. She's getting paid through an American company into a Canadian bank. <laughs> like, I don't know if she's really exempt from taxes like she thinks she is. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. But we look at it from our window. <laughs> okay, guys. Salah's fine, girl. We'll see you next live stream. See you guys, inshallah. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. Yeah. For the next we'll see you, inshallah. So, like, he doesn't even know if they will see them again. You for the next live? Yeah. I hope, guys, you enjoy that beach. This was... Uh, Salah looks kind of sad. Do you guys see it? He seems disappointed and sad. Like this isn't the first time that this happened. Do I almost feel bad for him? No, he did it to himself. Best Kuwait day. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Okay guys, peace. peace Ma Ma Bye. Salah Bye. is a victim. Whoa. Wait, she almost fell again. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh. I can't see from the sun. She's red as a lobster. Yeah, she's like, stop recording, stop recording. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn oh. it off. I see from the sun. Oh. <laughs> I didn't see this part. And that's it, guys. Wow. Oh. Look at the last still. That's the last we've seen of her. We haven't heard from her since. Except for a supposedly pre-recorded mukbang. Wait, let's look at the new mukbang and compare the outfit. Um, hmm. Wait a damn minute, it's a completely different outfit. So when did she film this? Hmm. Is there a live stream of her wearing that? Time for a bees three days ago, is that the same? No. That's blue. Maybe she just put a t-shirt over it. No, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe she just changed. All right, let's end the poll. Are they married? 34% um, think that they are married and 67 say that no, they're not married. She doesn't pay Canada until she gets sent back. Look up Kuwait laws for international tax laws. Okay. I don't even understand our taxes, so <laughs> I don't think I'm going to understand that. Should we look at this? So this is the newest video from her. I'm surprised she hasn't put up a mukbang today because usually she's gotten good at posting. This one she posted it at like midnight. I think this was supposed to go up today, but she got it mixed up. Like it was supposed to go up at 12 noon. But instead, she put it up at midnight by accident, maybe. Just my theory. But 
let's take a look at a little bit of it. It's crunch time, it says there in the... It is crunch time, girl, but I don't think that's what you meant. So this could have been filmed. It's anyone's guess as to when this was filmed. Yesterday, three days ago, four days ago, five days ago. She might have a catalog of mukbangs lined up. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey there, Beezers. Want a personalized video from me to you? Oh gosh, the cameo, her new cameo venture. That you can keep forever? Or maybe a special shout out. Or maybe you just have a pressing question for me you want answered. All you have to do is request a personalized video or direct message. It cost her five. It cost five dollars to send her a message from your cameo, on there. It's super easy. Cameos also make great birthday or special occasion gifts. Hope to hear from you. Bye. Yeah, didn't ALR have a cameo? <laughs> you know, I tried to wait to start filming until she was done playing with her bottle cap that she loves so much. But no, it's going to continue beezing. She's going to continue beezing. Girl, I mean, this looks fresh, right? Nice and fresh. Well, hello, guys. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All right. So, this is triggering me. My Welcome OCD. to pre K. ED. So, the fork and knife were upside down, and the, the spoon was different direction. Hi, class. Yes. All right. <laughs> So, um, today I honestly just don't even feel like, um, I'm trying a new skincare routine. I'll talk about that in my live stream, actually. I've, um, I've been to Sephora here, finally. Everything is lush. Sephora products are... Skin lie routine. Astronomically more expensive. I checked compared prices. Than really? in Canada, so... I'm gonna wait until I hit Canada to, uh... To... Wait until she hits Canada, so she's going back. I thought she said recently that she was never. I'm never going back to Canada ever. I will never be like you, miserable people. Get some more things in the Western world. But um, yeah, I'll talk about that after. So I am in the mood to eat this today. I mean, I was in the mood for like some kind of bowl with like uh, rice, beans, like a very just like a vegetarian kind of meal. It like, looks what? like a healthier Chipotle moldy salsa so this is from a like supposed to be supposedly like more authentic mexican place and honestly i just feel like having water i'm really thirsty authentic mexican and i just feel like drinking water water that's a step up for her all right does she ever drink water she filmed it before the live stream did she say that I didn't watch that whole live stream. It was boring. I checked in every now and again. I was out to dinner. It was boring. It was so boring. Cold water. So, I also got a side of guacamole and salsa. So let me put... You don't like avocado? I like it. She hopped the border real quick to get her three-month visa renewed. Where did she go? Iraq? Mmm. Homemade guacamole. This stuff is, like, expensive. Like, more expensive than Sephora. Do you ever notice that? Guacamole, the price of guacamole is, like, ridiculous. What? It's not more expensive than Sephora. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. I don't know why. I just... Isn't it, like, $3 to add guac? Do. At Chipotle? Okay, let me put some salsa. <laughs> I don't even really do the chipotle guacamole anymore because a lot of the times it's like half brown by the time you get it. Like, ugh. Mm. Gross. So, so, even though there's pico, this is going to slap. I know it. All right. I'm eating this with a spoon or a fork. Yeah, when she disappeared for three days, it was the perfect time to, like, everything lined up. The stars aligned. She border hops. She did something sketch for sure okay let me try a fork because there's lettuce <laughs> but i like to eat rice with a spoon so i'm just gonna mix everything all together Iraq actually bees. maybe that will be easier <laughs> no, 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 no. yeah in the previous video she said like she was covered by like u.s law or like the 
the 13 amendments or something. I was like, what are you talking about, girl? You're a Canadian first and foremost in Kuwait. How does the U.S. have anything to do with that? That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard from her in a while. Like, <laughs> you are under Kuwait law, period. And there is a law against filming people in public. She should maybe look into the laws that apply to her. Kuwait law, not U.S. law. <laughs> and that oh, cyber crime law. Me, like, it's stuck in my head all day. <laughs> yeah, the off. First Amendment. Okay, guys. Girl, so the First Amendment does nothing for you, sweetheart. Let me mix this. Baby girl. I love these these bowls. Her They're American so bees have everything in them, you know. And the avocado makes it so creamy, and the salsa is like a dressing, full of protein with the brown rice and the beans. Oh, I love it! All right, so Bismillah, Kamal Ibrahim. It's the best looking thing she ate in a while, kind of. Yeah, looks. I would eat it. Okay. I would eat it. I love to sit in my car and eat Chipotle. It's like my me time. I love eating in my car, like, <laughs> you have freedom of press, right? All right, beauty bite. Girl, I don't think you have freedom of press. <laughs> well, that is so good. Mm. Mm. The salsa is so delicious. I can taste it. Is she living for it or not so much? Because it's not like fried fast food. It just like. Yeah, what happened to Harry the hamster? We haven't seen him in a while. I think he's locked up in a room in that cage all day ever since they got Julia. Like the Harry the hamster doesn't really get any attention. It's kind of satisfies sad. all the taste buds. Like you have the protein, your beans. That poor hamster. Are they going to go to the U.S.? The seasoned rice. That, that makes it filling. She's supposed to go to that Florida. That's fiber, like carbohydrate. Think of the crunch. Girl, you can film all you like in the U.S. without worrying about who's in the background or whatever. The lettuce, um, the creamy avocado, sour cream, and the corn is crunchy. Mm. She showed Are the hamster sweet? in the live? Okay. I love it. Mmm. She fed the hamster a Cheeto? Really? So, yeah. How could you just leave your kitties behind? I don't know. After 17 years, she had BBJ for 17 years. And she was just going to give her a dirt nap. And Sam, like, she had that cat for seven years since since Sam was a kitten. And now she... Sam's being like passed around in foster care, apparently, if she's telling the truth, which <laughs> laughable. I feel like eating. She didn't do any research. She just gave the cats away to the first person that came around. And that's why we ended up in the situation that we ended up in with her being exposed. I'm actually starving. Literally, though. I feel happier and healthier when I have, like, a balance, you know? Happier and healthier, girl. Mm -mm. Of course, I feel like crap when I just eat crap all the time because, like... Anybody would. If you look at, like, a pepperoni and cheese pizza, stuffed crust from Pizza Hut, one of my favorite things here. So good. Girl, that's pure junk food. I had a super big craving for it, like, the other night at, like, 5 in the morning. And what, you made Salah go out and get that for you? Is he your new Pete's? Except he can drive, huh? So he can go get you anything. No delivery fee, no tip. I 
And I think I just have the urge to like binge out and just have something bad. But I felt like so much like crab after that I'm like, is this really worth it? No. Like I just felt like so bad, but I always like forget that feeling after a while, you know? But it was just like cheese, processed meat, butter, and there was nothing like, you know, refreshing or fresh inside of it. <laughs> Refreshing or fresh on a pizza from Pizza Hut, girl? Of course not. I just saw this uh, YouTube short where this person was talking about pizza in Japan. And it's like really expensive, like $35 for just like a regular pizza. I guess cheese is like has a high import tax. It was definitely. Something it like that. I ate the whole pizza. Girl. Whole medium. Well, no wonder. Not a good idea. But sometimes I, I go through... That was just a snack for her, though. Bad moments like that. Pete's couldn't drive, you no. Know, where it's really hard for me to say no to my craving, my impulse. So, um... Yeah, we're cycling again. I'm surprised she hasn't come on today with a new mukbang. Burger King, Arby's, Whatever. A balance would have been like a piece or two of pizza. With right, an intuitive pizza. Salad. With an intuitive salad. Not just the whole pizza, which, you know what? The diet box included pizza this time. So I'll have to show you guys that. Did you eat it? Or did mm. you give it to Salah? Mm. So... It's also crunch time. I really need to try to get some weight down. Oh, so she did mean that by crunch time. Does that mean she's trying to go to Canada soon? It's time to get back on that plane, mm. girl. Escape the heat. Before it gets freezing in Canada. It's the best time right now. Mm -mm -mm. You'll see why. We'll see why. Because she's going to Canada. I called it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my contacts. AA, thank you for this super chat. Do you think ALR and Jade will get back together? No, I honestly think it's over. I think wifey's flown the coop already. I think it's over for good. But, you know, I could be wrong. Thank you, AA. Do they have WW in Kuwait? I think it's just, you could definitely do it online. Why doesn't she try Weight Watchers? No. I want to thank all of you who have purchased cameos. Couldn't be me. Hmm. Girl, like... I completed them all, and yesterday, I was in the top 50, so I was, like, ranked... Really? Number 26, right under, right above Santa Claus. 21? Santa Claus? Who else is on there? <laughs> I swear! Um, like, washed-up celebrities, washed-up reality stars are on there a lot for the amount of cameos I was making. And by the way, the price I charge, you should see some of the prices people charge. It's vegetarian food. Right, apparently Amber was charging $75. Like, girl, she's got a big hat, huh? Um, 25 is still way too much for Foodie Beauty. <laughs> and it was actually suggested to me when I was setting up my cameo. Lies. Which price I should pick between this and range, you know? So I it should be no more than like five bucks. It was somewhere in the middle. Okay, try 10. To be fair. Maybe. Because it's just like a side thing, side hustle. Mm. And a way to connect with you guys. Oh, you and guys, D. Um, can keep the cameo forever. I've got a lot of special occasions. Um, 
you know, people wanting to see Howie. Um, Imagine if someone did like, what if someone did um, like their proposal? Can you propose to my wife for me, foodie? Birthdays, weddings, congratulations, you know, you're LOL. So if you want a personalized message, check my cameo link down below. Apparently people are buying it, so she might as well keep that price if people are buying it. That's business, right? Once it starts to die down, then lower the price. That's business. You can also DM me. Girl, nobody's paying $5 to send you a DM. Especially when they could just email you. She's gotten plenty of lovely emails. Ma'am. The Jafar ring. Ma'am. What happened to that? Julia stole a piece of my stuffed crust, by the way. I'd rather have an amber one. Not that I would spend $70 on that, but I'd rather have an amber one. I had to chase her down. <laughs> Who wouldn't? She's the real celebutant. So yeah, the diet came, that came today had pizza, and it was like a whole pizza like this. Like one of those lean cuisine pizzas our girl likes. Those aren't too bad. So I don't know if it was like. What happened to the. But they oh, can yeah. Too. Last I seen, Dee Dee. Debbie was wearing the Jafar ring. That's the last place I've seen it. So I don't know if they use it's like Debbie's it's a now. Thin crust. It's yeah. Debbie's it depends now. how thick the bread is too. I wonder how much we, she's gained. Like she needs to get like a accurate scale, um, because that scale is not accurate. I won't buy it until she does like one of those doctor scales where they have to physically lift the weights. But I don't think that those go really above 350. So even that wouldn't work. She needs to get the one that says, hello, it's ready. Then I might believe it. The calories. Her new favorite place to sleep is in the sink. Five dollars. Yeah, she did buy the Jafar ring herself. Mm hmm. Mm. We need a third party involved. Mm hmm. Salah. I don't know. Can we trust Salah to do the weigh in? I've never tried Chipotle. Is it overrated? We have like... She's never had Chipotle? In Canada we had Mucho Burrito, remember? I used to go get a Mucho Burrito. Ooh, I had Moe's. I used to love Moe's, but I went to Moe's recently and I was so disappointed. It was gross. I don't know how you make like beans, rice, chicken, and sauce gross, but they put on so much salsa to the point where it was like disgusting. It was drenched in salsa, like just that chunky tomato salsa, way too much. It's important to get the proportions right. Very important. And it's so inconsistent at these places. Like sometimes they give you a lot of food, but if it's really busy, sometimes they skimp. And I'm like, ah. Chipotle is coming to Kuwait, really? Don Juan burrito, maybe? There was always a place that was open late, but their food wasn't mediocre. But if I was desperate to order out, it was like my only choice. Mm hmm. I feel that. That sheets for me. <laughs> And Uber Eats would only operate until 2 a.m. Here, it's like 24 hours. 
She likes living there because they have delivery food 24 hours. That's the biggest catch. That's why she's in no hurry to get home. Because she can have all the junk food that she wants. A lot of restaurants like Pizza Hut and that are open till 5 a.m. That's important okay, not for about her. Not like 10 or 11. You don't have a pizza place that stays up till at least midnight? Come on. In Ottawa, the capital? I think. It's because with the heat, people do things later in the day. I need a 24-hour Chinese food place. That's what my town misses. Um... In Philly, there's like a few 24 hour Chinese food places. Having General Tso's at like 3 a.m. is an amazing experience. Like the, the government has issued some warnings and tips because the next few days are going to get up to 55 degrees Celsius. Oh no. So they're actually like warning the people. Oh my God. 131 Fahrenheit. That's what they said. It's going to be in Death Valley, California. It's going to get up into the 130s. And people are like going as if it's this tourist attraction. Sounds like fun, right? No, thank you. And, uh, like they tell you not to go out between 20, 10 and 4. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Edible Don't arrangement. Leave anything in your car, like aerosols, lighters, electronics. And make sure. Did you guys ever have like your iPhone on the beach and it turns off? To try it's to hot. fill your tank at night. Just don't go out. Just don't. What does it cost to like, if you have a house in Kuwait, like a pretty decent, decently sized house? I wonder how much it costs to air condition it. You know, those air conditioners are struggle bugging. <clears throat> Something about snakes and scorpions. Okay, Barb, I yes. If I see a scorpion, I'm freaking out. Thank you, Total Eclipse of the Fart. I'm an hour behind, but I always love catching a live. Just spent 280 at Target when I only went in for coffee. Pray for me, y'all. Yes, total eclipse. I understand going in for like a coffee and leaving with spending $200. Yeah. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. I feel like I always go there for one thing. I never spend like 200 there, but I'll go in for like shampoo and I'll spend like $80. Easy, easy. Thank you, Eclipse. And thank you, hard work and diva. Wait, I get it now. Foodie is obsessed with eating out because it combines her addiction to shopping and eating all at once. Damn, that's sad. Mm-hmm. That's totally correct with Foodie and Amber as well. Amber loves purchasing anything. You know, if she can get the food too, that's a double whammy for her. So astute observation. It goes for both of our girls. Thank you. Thank you, Diva. Hi, Diva. I'm just not feeling this one. Do you guys know that TikTok sound? <laughs> I just noticed there's no cheese on this, but I don't mind. The, avoc the avocado is very creamy. She loves cheese. If I put this into perspective, the hottest it gets usually in Canada, like 35. Is what, 30. 90? <laughs> Very rarely 40. And I can't stand that. So imagine, so imagine 55. She really is trapped in that house. There's no way out. She's probably ruining the fact that she didn't get to Canada. You know, she said herself that she wasn't going to be caught there in the summer. But she didn't make it back in time. And here we are. She's trapped in that apartment. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm, I will not be going mm -mm, near the windows. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is you know, bleak. Thank goodness for the AC. Mm. 
What would they do if the air conditioner broke? Can you imagine her on live stream air conditioner broken rage? Yeah, just buy the two seats and get out. She might not need two seats. I mean, she didn't the last few times, right? Just sit half in the aisle. Get an aisle seat, girl. She's really afraid, like, not... She's afraid not to buy two seats. But she doesn't want to spend the money for two seats. Rolling blackout. And didn't won't make me feel like crap because it's not greasy and oily. Mm. I love greasy oily food, but it makes me feel sick. And Maybe cut back a little. <laughs> Trailer treasure. Thank you for the super chat. Hey Alex, can I get an eggs? Of course. Eggs. 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 How's three for ya? Thank you, trailer treasure. It's 93 in Kuwait right now. Yeah, and it's like 5 o'clock in the morning over there. No, it's like 3. 3 a.m. So it's still 90 degrees. Are you kidding? I don't have a gallbladder, so... My oh, body yeah, she doesn't like have a gallbladder. Oily food and really fatty food. But not fatty as in, like, good fats, it doesn't seem to bother, like... Avocado, olive oil. It's even like worse for her. Nuts, stuff like that. I don't ever feel any adverse effect from eating. Nuts. But if I consume like too this much woman is or nuts. cheese or fried foods, fried cheese, <laughs> pizza puts in is fried like cheese. For some reason, I had a Korean hot dog I don't in know why, Chicago. But I had, like, one of my worst gallbladder attacks after eating a puts in when I was like seventeen. Oh my gosh, I was so sick. Gallbladder attack. You know, she says these things and then she'll be back on the next day eating junk. It's always the same. I remember listening to her like tell this sob story for 55 minutes about how she had to get herself together and this was going to be her fast food funeral and blah, blah, blah. And we all saw how that ended. I mean, she went right back to the same habits. Mm-mm-mm. <sighs> This is bleak. Okay. Well, I'm done. I feel like foodie's the most adverse to change. Like, that's very filling. Are you this is just who she is. See, I never learn. <laughs> now, now it's gonna catch up to me. And I'm that was a lot of food. You know, watching her mukbangs, like you don't realize it's all gone. Like. <laughs> You know, you're watching and you're watching and then you look over and, oh, it's all gone. Damn. I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of food. All right. And so just like that. I guess that's it. Potato face. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That is bleak. <laughs> <laughs> What else did she put out? Oh, the Philly cheesesteak. I don't want to really watch this whole thing, but... So just days before she was eating a whole ass Philly mm. cheesesteak. And a cheeseburger. Really? Why does she need the cheeseburger? You would wonder, like, you know, why does she need the cheeseburger? And she looks stupid in that New York City hat. In New York. With that Pepsi girl, full fat Pepsi. I don't know the words. <laughs> mm. Can she go to the top of One World Trade? Mm. Mm. And c'est bon, as we say in French. So, you guys. I want to see Foodie do the Sky Deck. Do they have a Sky Deck at One World Trade? Or just an observation. I don't know, but that's that thing in Chicago with the glass floor. 
You want to try the Korean corn dog? It wasn't all that great. It's so sweet. I don't know. I didn't like it that much. I got the potato one. Oh, the cheeseburger was free. Oh, the cheeseburger was free. That explains it. How boring. All right. That explains everything. So this burger has <laughs> mustard, ketchup, mayo, no that relish. That outfit, one pickle. though. And let's see. No relish? No relish? Cheese. She's been watching too much TikTok. That's all she does yeah. all day. Yeah. I need to put my phone down more. Kind of tastes like a Burger King hamburger to me. Why was it free? It's one of those restaurants where if you're over 450, you eat for free, like the Heart Attack Grill. <laughs> right? That hat looks like you buy it, like, it looks like you buy it off the side of the street from one of, like, the vendors. I have to be careful with my shirt. I'm not taking it dirty. What about Salah? You know she didn't think for a second. Why don't I give this to Salah? You know? She didn't think that for a second. She was like, mm, okay. That's a good legit cheeseburger. Yeah. And these cheese fries. It's giving 2000s it. middle schooler. Yeah, the girlies used to always wear these like flannel shirts um, with the Abercrombie Moose logo. But then you would wear that. And then underneath you would wear a tank top. And then underneath the tank top, you would wear another tank top. And then maybe a couple of necklaces, a lot of um, you'd have foundation and then a lot of bronzer on top of the foundation. Mm-hmm. You know the look. You know the look. Rabbit. Rabbit. Rabbit huggers. Thank you for the super chat. I love it when you call me Big Foopa. Oh! <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Foopa. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Ra. <laughs> yeah, like a lace cami. Mm-hmm. Ed Hardy jeans with rhinestones, something like that. Maybe like Ugg boots. Yeah, you got to have the Ugg boots. I don't care if it's 80 degrees out, we're still wearing the Uggs. Maybe a Von Dutch hat. Yes. She worked at Abercrombie. There's no way they oh, would have nice. let her work. What's new and exciting? Abercrombie was like so fat phobic. Like you literally had to be a certain size to work there. Give me a twirl. Hollister too. I have some new things going on. I know, you know, you guys are going to be hire fat people. Like, I mean, you know, I do a mixture of things usually on my channel, like vlogs and mukbangs. I've been sticking to mukbangs because, like, it's all you can do. It's all you know how to do. For now, anyway. But. Can you make me on VR chat, Cam Nan? I tried to do VR chat a couple weeks ago. But these people were being, like, nasty in there. This one guy was, like, screaming the N-word. And then this guy was, uh, this other guy was making like homophobic jokes. So I had to switch to a different room because I was like uncomfy in there. But I tried it. Inshallah. Coming real soon. <laughs> we have a lot of different content coming up.
It's been so hard for me to keep things secret. <laughs> But it will be worth it. Right. I went to some other rooms and it wasn't it wasn't that bad or like toxic. It was just that room. <laughs> My first experience, I was like, what? On Windows? Because. No, I just have Quest 2. Can you add those on Quest 2? I You're do have a PC though. What I'm doing. So you can expect the unexpected. Girl, that's Big Brother. Expect the unexpected. Wait, when does Big Brother start? Did it start already? I'm kind of over it. It's always like these unrealistic beauty standards and people who already have internet followings. Like, give me like trash. I don't want these perfect looking people. They're trash. Like they end up exposing themselves as trash, but just give me trash, you know, from the get go. <laughs> Chicken in a biscuit. No, these are just like white cheddars. I've been munching on this one packet for the past two hours. <laughs> Facebook VR. I heard that was stupid. Meta meta worlds or something vr chat's better if you want that kind of thing Ew. i'm going to a bloodletting i don't know why not because i'm not around him right now and i have to compliment him every hour so i remember being in uni and working with a hijabi and our other partner was so I can't do her live streams. <laughs> you know, before we couldn't do the mukbangs anymore, but now the live streams, like, give me one of her mukbangs any day over the live streams. Nowadays. Coordinate the shirt and vape. No. <laughs> that would love to do food tours like girl to come on Philly no you're not coming to Philly if you come to Philly I will be there with a camera in a bush try the steaks there like the paparazzi is anyone from Philly what is the best cheesesteak place is it Gino's or something else I'm not really sure Pat's and Gino's is like the most famous ones. They're right across the street from each other. I've had Gino's. It was good. I like Wiz. I like Wiz. But I don't know what I would say the best one is. Also, I don't think that the Nashi was out this season in Canada. Really? No more Nashi's? It's, like it's so weird that the one season I'm not there. Guys, the Nashi's are o over. They don't have Nashies. They only brought it back for her. I swear it's somebody watches my channel from Burger King headquarters and they're like, Bling. Yeah, they're definitely doing that, girl. Dana, thank you for the super chat. Can someone tell me where she got that shirt? Mm, I can't remember, but she did a haul, I believe, on the channel. Thank you, Dana, for the super chat. Um, modest plus size haul, right? This is where she got it, right? Yeah. So I guess go back and buy, go back and, I think it's a Kuwait place. My uh, Abaya collection. So I am not a person who has a ton of clothes, but you know, when I do get some new things, I like to. Yeah, Gino's. I remember when I went to Gino's, it said on the thing, like when you walk up to the window at Gino's, this was like 10 years ago, it said, this is America, speak English. I was like, what? So they were really like, that was off-putting for me. I'll uh, show you guys what I have. 
and particularly because I have the I'm not sure I think it's from a place in Kuwait is where she got the shirt yeah calling their higher ups and they're like yeah She's not in Canada this season. No point in making the Nashi. We won't make any profits. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Did they yell at you? No. What was it? Like almost every day? I would take the Kia through the drive-thru. Yeah, can I get two Nashis? <laughs> Just the burger. The bread at Grey Steak is so soft. Look at that. And the meat is tender, has caramelized onions. The meat is so tender. <laughs> Dana, thank you for the super chat. It's like a peptide, Pepto-Bismol nightmare. <laughs> it's giving 2000s for me. Thank you, Dana. And cheese sauce. Let's try that beauty bite. You know you Why does she not do green screen? Yeah. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Megan Ann. Yeah, I've watched Megan Ann before. Has she put out any bangers recently? Wow. I think I'm hey, subscribed. I'm like ready to go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm you subscribed. You know who does that? Mark Weens. Who takes a bite? So this is my palatable. impression of Mark Weens. It's hyper palatable. It's so, so pleasurable. pleasurable. It's hyper palatable. It's so, so pleasurable. pleasurable. Are you Italian, Cam? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His eyes pop out of his head when he takes a bite. Okay, I want to go to it. Italy. <laughs> I think it says, wow. I love his channel. Mm. They have some decent food here, but like fast food choices. I'm trying to think of food that's exclusive to Canada that. You can't get here. Harvey's. Harvey's girl, that's junk food. They have the best deep fried pickles at Harvey's. The best. Deep burger. fried. Yeah. If you guys are in Canada, you, have you know, it was her most ridiculous video recently was the neutralizing Taco Bell. Let's watch like a snippet of that. I don't think we ever reacted to it. Her neutralizing Taco Bell. <laughs> Where is it? Neutralizing Taco Bell. When is it? This is two weeks ago, July 4th. She put this out on Independence Day, girl. As you lose your independence. Neutralizing Taco Bell. Hello, girl, I'm not reading that. You can I like how she put herself into a 90s Taco Bell. Ring my bell. Ring my Taco Bell. All right, Girl. so I have Taco Bell today's Taco Tuesday um, at the Taco Bell. So you get buy one, get one free. So we can both eat dinner for like super cheap. I'll put the price somewhere. 15 KD for both of you. Okay, that's not bad. Um, before I even start eating, this is not a binge. This is a meal from Taco I know. She's not a U.S. citizen. I know. Taco Bell. This is the quesadilla and fiesta potatoes and i got it this is a neutralizing taco bell mojito not sure what that is oh cool Has lemon mint and lime in the soda yeah like lemon lime mint lime seven up i guess so i'm just gonna put hot mm, i i told you guys about the really good strawberry strawberry lime mojito drink at um, Simply Lemonade makes it. It's so good. Sauce on everything right now. Is this neutralizing? Um, Is she going to get into that or what? I think it confused a lot of people, but... So I'll just confirm exactly what I'm doing, okay? Because this was supposed to be a journey, right? So she hasn't taken this back. So this is what she's supposed to be doing now. 
I need clarification. I'm. I need clarification. Um, actually, working on not Lies. binge eating. So that's my first step. Oh, okay. Let's try these potatoes. I have not a very decent setup right now because maybe she should work on not overeating. Because she wants to retrain her brain, right? So why not just have, like we said, one meal? <laughs> Simply mixology. Yes, yes, yes. So good. Well, it's rudimentary, but... Um, Mint julep. Beauty bite. Okay, I don't think I'm going to watch this, but... It was an interesting detour. Let's finish the Philly one. Harvey's. And the Harvey's Swiss Chalet combo. Swiss Chalet is bomb. She's reminiscing about the fast food in Canada. That's what she misses, like more than her family. She misses the fast food restaurants in Canada. More than her family, more than her cats. But I have to say. What are they going to do, though, if she goes to Canada and S Salah comes? What are they going to do with Julia? And Howie. I'm more of a St. Hubert's person. She's locked down. Which is another place in Canada. <laughs> she trapped him with cats. A cat. <laughs> Animals. <sighs> that. You won't find a St. Hubert's in the States. It's a French Canadian thing. It's like Boston Market, right? And they have the best food. Like, they have the best chicken strips. I've had better rotisserie chicken, if I'm honest. I find their chicken rotisserie chicken. Oh my chicken, goodness, more pets to abandon. It seems a bit undercooked or something. They have good ribs. But they're not halal. Actually, they're haram. I can't eat any of the meat there anymore. <laughs> So what happens if you're like in a place? Isn't gluttony haram? Place that um, has no halal food. Like let's say I went to Disney World. Um, you would have to pick something vegetarian, and they do have a lot of vegetarian options. I was checking oh. their menus at like Be Our Guest, and um, I feel like since it's Disney World, they probably yeah. All you would have to do is like look it up, like what is halal, and they have a lot of international guests, so I'm sure that they have options, especially at like Epcot. Oh my gosh, you remember I told you about when I was a kid? I went to Florida, but I went to a diner that was dark and it was like a drive-in, and you eat in these old Hollywood style cars. I found the place. Oh, cool! What is that called? It's um I'm going to go to Orlando cuz you know what I heard? I heard that Disney World is like empty right now. Like for some reason people just aren't going to Disney World right now. I saw this in the newspaper. Um well, an online newspaper. <laughs> Let's be real here. I'm not cracking open a newspaper, girl. But they said that the lines are really short at Disney. You can just hop in, hop off in like 30 minutes whatever ride you want to go to. Disney can be like a nightmare like sci-fi something and it's in Hollywood studios and it's still operating. So. Oh, is that real? So if and when I go there, I have to eat there. Also, when I went was so long ago, that tower of terror was in the middle of being constructed. Oh, I rode the tower of terror multiple so times because I saw a plus size woman test the ride. You was there today. It wasn't empty. But was it like less crowded? For large people. Totally fine. Oh yeah, they make bank. <gasps> Nintendo World. I, I don't think that's open yet, is it? I'll go to Universal. Because, yeah, I really want to see Nintendo World. Try to get an aisle seat. They priced people out. That's what I heard that too. It's so expensive, like everything. You know, a bottle of water is like $6. Are you kidding me? Uh, yes.
I'll just go to Hershey. Okay. <laughs> Where is that? Yeah, she doesn't have Disney World money, honey. Last time I was at, well, not the last time I was in Orlando, but the last, last time I was in Orlando, we stayed at this really seedy hotel. It was disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, where did that cheese fly on my shirt? There was this lady outside, like, trying to get us to do, like, a timeshare. We're like, no, 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 no. No doubt. <laughs> but no. Mm -hmm. Or did you guys ever go to Knobles? Has anyone heard of that? I want to go where the people are. Where is that Scranton, maybe? Yeah, she could ride around in a golf cart. <laughs> it's hard to talk and eat. So good. See what I mean? It's all gone. You blink and you miss it. It's all the food's gone. <clears throat> I want to go where the people are. I want to see, want to see them bees in. <laughs> you went to Knobles? Yes. Knobles is fun. That's all I got. <laughs> is Scranton a real place? Of course it is. Scranton, like where the office. Where they, the office is set, setting. <laughs> the office setting. I've never really been to Scranton. Like, I drove through. But I've never really been. I don't think there's much anyway. there. Mm. What's the concerning footage? The beach. We Yeah, we did look at the concerning footage already. I think I'm going to start reading my meals if I remember to be consistent with it. Like, Gettysburg, yeah. Gettysburg is fun. <laughs> this meal, I give it... Um, you seem to enjoy it. Sea World. <laughs> from this angle, I look like a bank robber. Okay. Yikes. 10 is going to be like... Didn't they... They already went to the aquarium in Kuwait. Huh. It seems like they did everything you could do in Kuwait already. The Kuwait Towers, the multiple zoos, um, all sorts of things. Kale, welcome to Sugars. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Was your hotel in OBT? What's that? It was like Orlando somewhere. I don't know. Gettysburg. I liked Gettysburg. I went to Gettysburg like not that long ago. It's a lot of walking though. You got to walk. Get your ass up and walk. No, 10 an even number. So that's okay. I have OCD with numbers. Um... 10 is going to be like perfect meal. Perfect everything. I'm going to be a bit lenient on the temperature because it is delivered. Yeah, that's the thing with Uber Eats. You always get like cold food. I'm not about it. I was so pissed like about a few weeks ago. I ordered KFC on Uber Eats. And they didn't include my sauce. And I was so pissed. Like... It's chicken fingers. Like, who the fuck doesn't include sauce with fingers? Are you kidding me? Like, that's... You had one job. One job. And they forgot my sauce. Never again. Never again. Vasilia, welcome to Sugars. Hello. Welcome. 
a new girl? Did I see any ghosts in Gettysburg? No. I did check out Devil's Den. Overall meal. Or no, I think Devil's Den was closed. They're like remodeling. <laughs> KFC loves to do that. But how can you forget the sauce? It's KFC, like. Was a seven. It's the K. Yeah, it's the. It is the KFC employees. Yeah. Which is good, because remember, ten, supreme. All right, that was really delicious. And filling. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure this they don't get paid enough to give a fuck. But I wanted my sauce. <laughs> Catch up with my brain, and I'll be very full. So <laughs> for a while. Anyways, guys. Um, all right, guys. Thank you for eating and beezing with me. And I'll see you in the next bees. Oh, Jimmy John's. I like Jimmy John's. That's good. Um, I like to get the number seven. It's like the spicy Italian, I think. Love a good Jimmy John's moment. The bad area of Orlando. I don't know if it was a bad area or not. Seemed pretty touristy. There are some vibes in Gettysburg. Yeah, there's like a nice museum. I went to the museum in Gettysburg. Um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of it's outside. You can see a lot of it for free. But if you want to go into the museum and stuff, then you have to spend a little bit of coin coin. You worked at Subway, and we were given the number of olives allowed. <laughs> yeah, I remember, like, working at Subway, too, and you had to do, like, a specific amount of tomatoes, like three tomatoes for a six-inch, six tomatoes for a 12-inch, foot-long, spicy Italian with Jimmy Peppers. Mm-hmm. That's what I get. That's my go-to. The bread is always so good at uh, Jimmy John's, and it's so fast. That's what I appreciate. I feel like it's much better for you than, like, McDonald's, right? Although maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Should we watch Hungry? Do you guys want to watch Hungry? We can shake off these va bad vibes. Shake off those bad vibes. Shake, 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 shake. I don't know if I'm going to get through the whole thing, but I want to show you guys just how Hungry's doing right now. Because it's kind of incredible. The transformation. She went from not okay to slay, mama, slay. Um, let me just show you, like... Okay, here is her three months ago. Like, this was her not okay video. Here was uh, three months ago. It's a better day. Like the day before she put out a video saying like, I'm not okay. And then here is the new video. Yes, mama. There's light in her eyes. Like she's doing the damn thing. Let's check out a little bit. The one thing I'm not a fan of is the music. <laughs> yes, Miss Mama. Hey, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it's Friday. I feel like we need to have, like, one girl's got to do it. One girl's got to do it, you know? Clearly, Amber and Foodie are not. <laughs> They're on the road to nowhere. Um, The 21st of July. And, yeah. Another week. Yes, payday, girl. Down. Um, I totally stayed on track this week. Um, feeling loads better. Let me let me turn my little fan off. You can just tell, like I said about Amberlynn, like the progress that she has made in such a short amount of time is astounding. It happens fast. Just not eating that junk every single day. Okay. 
Sorry about that. You can turn um, things around quick. Yeah, so I weighed in this morning when I got up. I got up around 10, 10 30, something like that. Even like her hair looks better. Um, but I actually got plenty of sleep, which I needed. Uh, for for some reason I've been like fighting kind of not really full on insomnia, but I've just got a lot of energy right now. <laughs> I think she's definitely a night owl. Like she would be flipping through menus at 3 a.m., right? A lot of her mukbangs she would film super late. That's a theme. Like a lot of our girls, like they all have the same behaviors, the same behaviors. And, you know, trying to find stuff to do with myself during the day. But I'm figuring it out. <laughs> um, so I got up and I weighed in and everything. And I do hope that Amber and Foodie are like watching, you know? For a little bit of inspo. Um, it's like almost 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. right now. I feel like Foodie's seething. I mean, a couple of videos ago, she said like, I would never do carnivore. Like, yeah, yeah. she like flipped her nose or stuck up her nose at carnivore, right? But it's working. She's doing something. It's better than what you're doing, girl. So I've been fasting all day. I haven't eaten a thing. All I've been doing is drinking on my electrolytes and stuff. In one of my coldest... <laughs> Water I really like the all rad coldest, the all rad. <laughs> um, I did this morning have a little protein shake with um, water, just water in a scoop. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had that uh, to kind of tide me over for the day. That's like 100 calories, uh, zero carbs. So that's good. At least I think it's zero carbs. You lost all hope for Amber. I still hold out like a little bit of hope for Amber. I don't know. What do you guys think? Will she change like ever? Our girl, Amber. Might have a couple in it, but I wouldn't have bought it if it had carbs. <laughs> but anyway, so. You know, why not try something Jurassic? Why not try something you've never tried before, Amber, you know? That's been my day so far today. Um, yeah, nothing really crazy to report. Um, I've just, I've been cooking. I've been kind of, um, I had a had two more of my little Green Chef boxes this week, um, or little baggies. <laughs> they give you the produce and like sauces and seasonings and things and a little and a little. Yeah, so she's not doing like full on carnivore anymore. She's adding like veggies and stuff. I believe she's doing low carb. Um, probably just like watching what she's eating. You know, not getting fast food, not getting like takeout food, but you know, heavy on the meat, but also some veggies in there. A uh, grocery bag that's like folded up and stuff. And <clears throat> and then any kind of meat that goes with the meal, you know, separately. So I made two meals Green over chef. the last couple of days. Sounds uh, good. Lots of veggies in there. Veggies. I had some Brussels sprouts, which I had been craving. Is that like the Hello Fresh? I bet you a foodie. I bet, I bet whoever moved into the villa is still getting Hello Fresh boxes courtesy of foodie. <laughs> um... They were really good. Uh, I had that with uh, some blackened chicken, I believe. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly what I had. But mm, anyway, I had chicken good. and Brussels sprouts. And last night I had uh, little steak tenderloins with oh, all sorts that. of vegetables, you know, mushrooms, um, onion, bell pepper. Um, yeah, I think that's almost it. That's always my go-to. It's so easy to do the air fryer steak and then just... I got this big bag of veggies. I'll just put on the plate to eat for lunch. Cabbage was in it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, so I'll show pictures and I'll, you know, kind of give the recipes and stuff. But I did not stick with the recipes. Oh, yeah. The wolf pit had great success on carnivore. Is that a guy? Uh, because one of the meals, um, I think the chicken one, um, it had the Brussels sprouts then it had the chicken, but then it was supposed to have mashed potatoes. And in the little kit, it gave me the potatoes and then all the stuff to go in like a loaded mashed potato. Well, what I did was I made mm. a loaded Brussels sprouts and threw the potatoes in the trash. <laughs> it was just a little handful oh, of no. little gold potatoes. and you know. Oh, like the little potatoes? Did you guys ever have the little potato you buy at the grocery store? It's um, in like a thing where you can just vent the corner. An older man on YouTube. Oh, that's the wolf pit. I know that wouldn't have hurt me, but you know, it, it's carbs and I'm not doing carbs right now. So, out. <laughs> but I took pictures of, of the two meals that I made. So, um, yeah, I didn't follow the instructions though. Um, I'm bad about that. Um, for one of the recipes, I was supposed to 
put the some of the vegetables onto a baking sheet and put them in the oven and I was like you know what I don't need to do that <laughs> um and the only thing it was lacking because I went ahead and just sauteed the vegetables was you know I'm really just like about the air fryer recently because it's so easy it's like a microwave for me a little charred flavor you know so whatever you know if I'd have cooked them longer in the pan I'd, I'd have got a char on them too but Oh, he's well known for his dollar store finds. I didn't, I didn't worry about it. I just cooked them up and ate them. <laughs> Chantal's jealous. <laughs> I'm having the element here. Still not sponsored, but that's okay. <laughs> I believe 100% that Chantal, what would you guys put her at? Like $4.50? Um, they're not my favorite, actually, to be honest, so far. Um, they're a little extra salty. But um, it's a little better putting it in a, a bigger container. Probably need just a little bit bigger container for it to not be quite as, you know. But that's what it is, electrolytes. It's it's uh, sodium, magnesium. You know Foodie's jealous that she's still holding on to that coldest water bottle sponsorship too. Potassium. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I did my way in this morning. Still on track, still. Oh, yeah. You know. I have the Ninja Foodie. It's pretty good. Doing a lot better. Um, for seventy. My, my inflammation is down. Still not going, obviously. Um, Seven hundred, girl. Um, because well. No, she's not. <laughs> if she was six fifty to seven hundred, she wouldn't even be able to walk. At five one. Let's be realistic. Salah would literally have to roll her like um, in Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. <clears throat> I've got arthritis in my hip as well as the sciatica that's still kind of irritating me. You know, I have the pains and stuff, the nerve pain going down my... Oh, I wonder if like the new diet's helping her out with that in any way. Like I've always heard keto or carnivore can help with some things. But I don't know. Legs once in a while, but I don't know. For the most part, I'm still just getting around better. You know, I can't complain. I'm getting around a lot better. Uh, there's no way in hell I'm going outside anywhere right now, though. It was 114 mm. degrees. Out it's hot as heck out there, too, in Vegas. There. <laughs> just before I started recording this. So, who hell no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, enjoying my air conditioning. Thank you. Should thank I go you. hit the slot? <laughs> Oh, Amber Dawn. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for gifting five Shook memberships. Yes. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Congratulations, Janice. Congratulations, Mead. Congratulations, Annette and Flip Flop Robot. Welcome to Shookers. Welcome. Yes, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no need for me to get out there in that heat right now <laughs> oh it's helping with her inflammation okay yeah 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 i was too busy making a willy wonka you know, i'll save that for the fall <laughs> by then Yikes. i should be you know doing even better than i am right now um anyway so uh besides you know all the health journey kind of stuff and the the weight stuff um yeah i just i'm still doing my same old things um, watching uh, The Witcher, watching True Blood. I mentioned that in my last video. Oh, this yeah. She keeps bringing up True Blood. Did you guys watch that back in the day? That used to be my jam in high school, watching True Blood. Watching the HBO shows I, like, probably shouldn't have been watching at, like, 15. It'll be, like, the eighth time I've watched True Blood. <laughs> it's just, it's it's a classic. And I haven't it's, seen it's it in classic. forever. And, yeah, it kind of got... Uh, Kind of got far out towards the last few seasons, but even before that, I mean, by the second season, it, it wasn't even anything to do with the books, which I'm working on right now. I'm on uh, the fourth oh, book. Oh, right I now. forgot that it was um, a book. Club Dead in the Sookie Stackhouse series. Uh, um, I'm also working on the uh, Laurel K. Hamilton. Sookie and Bill. Yes, before Bella and Edward, there was Sookie and Bill. Peter Blake, uh, Vampire Hunter series which is really good I'm, I'm getting ready to on the 25th i'll get a new audible credit I are they gonna bring vampires back bought three last month and got, is one, that so coming I got back? four books last month <laughs> um i love it i mean 
any any kind of downtime when I'm not, you know, doing anything in particular, you know, in the bathroom, um, in the bedroom, just in the bathroom, you know, chill, um, stuff like that. Sitting on uh, the toilet. I just can't find anything on TV that I want to watch, which I'm spoiled for choice. I've got almost every damn <laughs> streaming service there is, you know. Oh, Mudflap, welcome. Plus the free ones, which are really good, actually. Tubi's got a lot of stuff on it. Max is top tier, like HBO. That's the best streaming service. Netflix is like stupid now. Like, what are they doing? Um, yeah, they got a couple of really good uh, free streaming services. Um, they're literally just Netflix is producing like literally anything and like throwing the spaghetti on the wall and seeing what sticks, and none of it's any good. Breezy the boozy. Oh my gosh. Breezy the Boozy Hooker, welcome to Shookers. Welcome in. Welcome! <laughs> welcome in, girl. Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I never really watched that. That was kind of too cheesy. You want to try the cream? What cream? But yeah, so... You canceled the Netflix. I would too, but I just use somebody else's. Um, y'all know me. I'm just I don't do a lot. Um, I have the only no one interests at the. Moment. The only one I pay for is Max. Um, I'm hoping as my brain continues to clear, I will rediscover some older uh, hobbies and things. You know, um. Right, because they say when you're in, like, active addiction, you don't want to do the things that, like, used to spark joy for you. It's all about the food or the substance or whatever. So when you get clean, you have to fill that time and maybe go back to old things that you were more interested in. For me, a lot of that was, like, I got back into video games where I, like, wasn't into them that much. <laughs> I used to try to draw stuff. I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> Drawing. But, you know, the only way to, to get better is to practice. I mean, um, I went to... Uh, oh, an ice cream machine? Creamy ice cream machine? Ooh, I don't need ice cream, though. Basically, in high school, I did some <sighs> art classes. I did some art classes in grade school. So, uh, um, and at one point, I think... Just before I grad, I didn't graduate high school. I got a GED, but just before I left high school, <laughs> I should say, um, I had oh, really? a watercolor painting uh, that our class had to do. Um, that was like a Disney Christmas scene, and I did this uh, painting of Mickey Mouse, you know, sitting in his armchair in front of the fireplace with the stockings hung up and stuff, and um, my painting was one of the ones that was selected to go to Epcot Center at uh, Disney World in Florida. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, and it was there for a year at the, at the teacher center at Epcot. Um, I love Epcot. So it's it was so there fun. for a year and when they finally sent it back to me. Um, ALR only talks about her exes left behind crap. Do you think she still has some of Becky's things? I gave it to one of my girlfriends for her baby boy that she had just recently had. You know, she you can make ice cream out of anything. Can't you just put like ice cream in like a thing? You put cream in a thing with like salt and ice and then you roll it around, something like that. She's a young mother and um She's in her I, Van Gogh. She took my baby's name. Era. <laughs> she took my baby's name. <laughs> I, I told her which which name that I I would have wanted to name her son. She did that to you? I did later on. And uh, it was... Do you remember that? Did you guys watch Sex in the City? When that one girl, I forget her name, but she took um, she took the other girl's baby name and she was pissed. You took my baby name. Dylan. Dylan, what a cute name. <laughs> Some total 90210 stuff, I guess. That I never even watched, but I just like that name, Dylan. Um... <laughs> anyway, so little Dylan, I don't know if he would still have it or if his mama would have it, but um, yeah, so that was, you know, a gift. <laughs> Want to skip a little? Um, I still have a few of those, um, and, and the poetry didn't stop in the teenage years. I, I did some poems. You want to watch The Way In? Oh, 
Shayla, is that the girl? She took Charlotte's baby name. Yeah, Shayla. Shayla was the one. She moved out of the city to the suburbs, and she got her white picket fence, her rich husband, and then she took Charlotte's baby's name. <laughs> she was, like, crazy in the city, like, always, like, flashing and drinking, and then she moved out to the suburbs and just became, like, the mom type. Yes. Not an example for anybody. You know, I just... I'm unmedicated as far as my mental health, so <laughs> I just fly by the seat of my pants. That's how I live. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Is she okay? <laughs> but anyway, so do your research if you're interested in something. Um, there's crap tons of YouTube videos about any kind of diet and any kind of things you should be eating or not eating and uh, the health risks of this or that or whatever. So, right. you know, Google. YouTube, all the information's out there. Like, you know, depending on your situation, it might be good to work with a doctor. It just depends. You know, uh, the journey that I'm taking you guys on is just one week to the next. Am I, am I hanging in there? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> hanging in there for now. Oh, Lainey. Shayla is the name that she stole. And then Lainey. Yeah, Lainey was the girl that was crazy in the city. And then she left to the suburbs. Yes. It's been a while since I've watched the show, but I've seen it a few times, front to back, front to back. So, anyway, you guys, I'll put up uh, the food stuff and the weigh-in and all that stuff. I was always, like, so jealous of Carrie, like, living in the city, being a journalist, having, like, her Apple laptop and a cigarette by the window. Like, ugh, so jealous. Somewhere. <laughs> Uh, beginning or end. I don't know which yet. And I'll also do a little bit of video on my little pizzas and I'll include that for you guys. Hey y'all. There she is. <laughs> it's uh, Friday, July 21st and I'm about to do my weekly weigh-in for you guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was 415.6 then 415.4 uh, on Tuesday. So, alrighty. Let's see if I can get up there. Oh, move my thing out of the way here. Alrighty. It's the best show of all time. The reboot stinks. The reboot is not that good. You know, mm. it's ready. It's ready. It's oh, kind of stupid. Okay. All right, get my hand in there. <laughs> my mom likes it, but mm. I don't. 411.4 Okay. 411.4. She's going down, 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 down. <laughs> Uh, okay. Woo, I'm happy about that. Uh, all right. See, that's the scale that Foodie needs. Foodie needs that scale or I'm not believing a lick of it. Uh, here we have blackened chicken. With that a looks so good. What kind of sauce is that? Aioli sauce. Uh, mm. Loaded Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. yep, it's got everything in it loaded potatoes would have, but it's Brussels sprouts. <laughs> That's kind of cool that she substituted the potatoes because she's going more low carb. So she just sub potatoes with Brussels. <clears throat> My 600 calorie breakfast. Some leftover. Oh yeah, steak for breakfast. Ribeye steak. Love it. And two <laughs> red pepper Swiss egg white bites from Green Chef with some sugar-free ketchup on top. Six hundred calories, not too bad. Right, she's less than foodie now. I mean, according to foodie, no, but we all know the truth. Here we have a double portion of beef tenderloin over vegetables which include mushrooms bell peppers onions is that like a broccoli uh, broccoli sauce pepinos I, I think that's uh sunflower seeds but i'm not sure some kind of seeds um yeah and cabbage with a creamy chimichurri sauce mm. Mm -hmm. is that also green chef here are the ingredients for my little mini pizzas there's the cheese a lot of cheese. Air fryer grill heating up. I put down a layer of sauce, about a teaspoon each, actually. 
Alrighty, I got about a little over half a serving of the mozzarella cheese. Oh, is that what it is? Ketovore? You primarily eat animal products, but throw in some veggies. And a little over half a serving of pepperonis. I kind of want to do that. Mm. Okay, I'll put them in the air fryer for eight minutes. But then you won't go into ketosis though, right? See how that does. Put a couple more pieces of cheese on there because it was flying around. <laughs> That was just after five minutes, so. It kind of reminds me of like the TikTok pizza trend. I think they're done. <laughs> Yummy. Well, apparently this is just a snack <laughs> or breakfast breakfast or whatever. Cause after I put all the ingredients and amounts into my fitness pal, these two things equal about 295 calories, so. Oh, so she's doing uh, my fitness pal counting calories. Not a full meal or not a, enough for the day anyway. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's see how they taste. <laughs> Living for this TikTok moment. A little bit of crisp on the edges. Mmm, not bad. It's pizza. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Has she done anything problematic? Mmm. Not really. I mean, she did have her past in like feederism and, you know, she got in deep in that community. But as far as like Chantal and the things that she has said, nothing ever, nothing even comparable to Chantal, no. Mm. Okay. <laughs> These are definitely worth trying. If you're trying to stay low calorie. <laughs> mm, yep. Um, simple, simple. But anyway, love y'all. And thank you for spending time with me today. Um, see you later in the week. See you next week. We shall see. Mm, bye now. Yes. I really enjoyed that update from her. Nervous laughter. <laughs> Anything that helps her is good in my book. Yeah. I feel like she's doing a good job. I mean, as long as the scale's moving in the right direction, she seems to be in better spirits, which is also really important because if you're like depressed all the time, you're not going to want to succeed. It's going to make it so much harder. So that's also like super important. Does she have a boyfriend? I'm not totally sure. I mean, there was a man that was in and out of her life, but I don't think that there are on that level right now but i don't think no i don't think she has a boyfriend right now but she might she might just keep it more private she might know when to keep certain things private can't fault her for that <laughs> something chantal knows nothing about where is tammy lemon she's still missing she is still missing i hope that she comes back soon been a while she said a month ago that she was going to come and post something but still nothing she did say that she was talking to someone recently yeah i thought i heard that from candy is chantal bald still i will never know girl because we can't see we're not allowed to see her hair anymore People were wondering, there was like a bump on the back of her head. I think that was like the way that she tied her hijab. Like, made a bump. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Eugenia update. I can't even speak her name. The YouTube gods will come. Susan herself will come knocking at my door if I talk about Eugenia. You're not allowed to talk about her anymore. That's not true. But <laughs> Jordy's immune. Jordy can talk about her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I did hear like Breezy. Breezy got like two videos taken down talking about UG. Um... I have been keeping up with Yuji on TikTok a little bit. She live streams with Rich Lux. Have you guys seen Yuji on 
TikTok with Rich. Yeah, so she'll do a lot of live streams over there. She was doing that trend where they're like, um, yes, 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 yes. Uh, bubble pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Ice cream, so good. Ice cream, so good. GG. Hi, hi. The NPC trend. She was doing that. <laughs> You saw her on TikTok yesterday in her Barbie costume. Body checking and gaslighting. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes, Rich Lux. That's who she's spending her time with recently. Yeah, NPC. <laughs> she lives in Wonderland. Yeah, Eugenia is on like another planet. I don't know what's going on with her. Somebody asked her to go to rehab the other day, and she was just like, I just don't, like, want to. I think people should respect my decision to not want to do that right now. <laughs> like, girl. She got banned live about half an hour ago. Really? Do that in a short. Should I pretend to be an NPC? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, clearly, I don't need rehab right now. Yuji got, like, banned from TikTok so many times, but that's because there's, like, robots running TikTok, you know? Like, there's no real people over there. <laughs> so if you get mass reported, they just take you down and then they check it later. You know, they're real people. So that's an issue. Like, you think censorship is bad on YouTube? I heard it's way worse on TikTok. Like, you can't say anything. Or they'll just take it down automatically. They won't even, like, check. Like, there's certain words that if you just say that word, they take it down. Immediately. Did they change... Twitter to X yet? I need to check. Like, I need to do my last tweet. This could be my last tweet. It still looks like Twitter to me. Let me check the App Store. Your old account got taken down for no reason. Yeah, I heard that happens on TikTok all the time. Like, they don't care. They don't mess around. They just ban. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Yeah, Twitter is still Twitter as of right now. Are they going to change it at 12 a.m.? If Twitter folds, where is Girl World going? Oh, Twitter will be fine. Otherwise, I don't know. Where would Girl World go? Yeah, Threads is kind of boring. So, I don't know. I'll check periodically. Although, you know, Mark Zuckerberg is not my favorite person. <laughs> you remember when Twitter was just starting up? Yes. I remember I got a Twitter in like 2007, I think. 2008, maybe. I got a Facebook in 2008. I remember that. I was a... I was leaving eighth grade going into high school. Freshman, fresh meat. Animal abusers. Mm-hmm. Not even that, but like natter. The fact that they just let Natter roam free on YouTube is astounding to me because people have been banned for so much less. Like, Natter is the biggest misstep that YouTube has ever made. Like, are you kidding me, guys? It looks like Natter's on live right now. I'm not clicking on it. I refuse to click on it anymore. Nope. Not even doing it. 
I do want to know if Dee Dee's alive, but I will control myself. I'm sure someone will post it on Twitter if something happens. Um, do you remember when you could text your tweets from your phone to a special number? Yes. He threatened the victim in his case on YouTube. Oh, multiple times. He threatened multiple people. Ooh, you said his name. Go wash yourself. Yeah. Seriously, right? We live super close. Really? Do we? How far are you from Philly? I kind of want to go to Philly. Should I go to Philly tomorrow? What can I do? What can I do? Or Baltimore. Is there anything to do in Baltimore? I want to do like a day trip. Yeah, they have a lot of um, things that they can use against Natter in court. August 1st, it's coming up. I just get the feeling that this thing is just going to go away and nothing will happen to this man. As sad as that's going to be, but. U G L Y, you ain't got no alibi. You ugly. You went to Philly for the first time last weekend. Really? Ooh, I haven't gone to Old City in a while. Maybe I'll go to Old City. See the Liberty Bell. Come to Alaska. That's far, Miss Girl. <laughs> Several times if you covered the new ALR video. Yeah, we covered it first thing. You have to go back to the very beginning. If you want to see the ALR reaction. Reactioni. August 1st. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. They're protecting him so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what is with that? Like, this man, all the things that he's been accused of, all the things that they have proof that he's done, and he just gets away scot-free. It's crazy. And he's a dangerous predator. Like, it's not like he stole a pair of shoes from the Walmart, which he did do on video. Remember that? <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? No, this is a dangerous person. Oh, yeah, Carly Russell. I was following that a little bit. And then it came out she was searching on Google, like, certain things. Oh, God. Why would you lie about that? That was upsetting. I honestly thought for a second that maybe she was abducted by aliens because it was just so... Strange of a story. Say no to vaping. <laughs> How far from Philly? Like an hour and like an hour and a half, hour 15. Depends. Didi just told him to stop talking about what he's talking about. Can you give us the play by play, Cam? <laughs> so Didi's Dee Dee's fine. It was giving. Is it confirmed that she lied? I think it's like all but confirmed. Pretty much. Um, but what's going to happen? Like, is she going to get in trouble? Probably. She was fired. She was fired from her job. People were, like, leaving bad reviews at her workplace. Like, why would you do that? They're discussing Chantal, really? Oh, Amber, lung issues. Why are they talking about Amber? Has Dee Dee's mom moved in? I don't know. 
Oh, yeah. Carly took like a robe from her job and I forget what else. Dee Dee's mom moving. It. Yeah, that is completely no. Dee Dee's mom moving in. That can't happen. Like, is she is she that fucking stupid? Don't answer that. Oh, people call the retirement home and harass her mother. What was that, foodie? <laughs> He's rolling a J. Oh, God. Poor Dee Dee's mom. I know, like, and they're just going to sleep out in the living room? Like, that's a one-bedroom apartment suitable for, like, two people at the most. And they're going to put her sick mom in there. And these are her last days. I mean, being realistic, these are like, her last days. If you had a roommate with one member of Girl World, who would it be? Mm. <laughs> Girls, I don't know. Can you pick Eric or Ricky? <laughs> Can you pick Eric and Ricky? Are they on the table? I guess one of them. Becky. Becky. Or like S Salah. I could play video games with Salah. He went through all of the money put aside for the home. <gasps> Is that what it was? Natter went through all of the money that Dee Dee had put aside to pay for the home, for her to be in the home. That's crazy. The Baxters. Amber, because she comes with perks. <laughs> Girl, you would have to take care of her mud flap. Are you ready to be a CNA? Yeah, can we just pick another reaction channel? <laughs> what if we had a reaction house with like drama? The reaction house. Becky, I need that Netflix money. Right? Meow. That's the real Amber Lynn saying so rude. She's always in here watching. Watching. Waiting. <laughs> I'm rooming with Eric and Ricky. Uh, 1,800 eyes. Oh, goodness, girl. I guess it would be double, right? Well, it depends. Not everybody has two eyes, but, you know, it's over, over 3,000 eyes on you. If you count, like, each individual eye. <laughs> <laughs> collab with Jordy. Is he in here? We can get... What's like a famous Pittsburgh meal? Um, Like the... What's the famous Pittsburgh meal? It's like the sandwich with fries on it. <laughs> oh, look at Amber pretending like she doesn't know who Jordy is. Petty girl. Petty. We love a petty queen. Gonna be Eric and Ricky's third. I heard they're looking. They are looking, aren't they? Ketchup soup. Um. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Amber Dawn for gifting five Shook memberships. Congratulations to... TK, Dear Daria, Tori, Scott, Nicole, Christine, B. Congratulations, folks. You wanted to give to ALR a membership? LOL. Wouldn't that be funny? We could put her name on the on the members' cards. <laughs> Didi is selling her six thousand 
$8 necklace on Facebook for 2000 two months after she got it. That was never $6,000. Does anyone buy that? How would they come up, or how would Natter come up with 6,000 bones? Wait, Amber, can you give us exclusive tea? Is wifey still there, like, for real? Or is, is she in the hotel? Is she at the double tree down the street? Yes, a welcome for all the new members. Welcome! Welcome! Yeah, why did they even get that necklace? It wasn't even that cute. It was kind of an ugly necklace. Yeah. Are they going to sell the Jafar necklace? I'll buy it for $25. Just to have it as a heirloom. A foodie heirloom. She's literally right next to me watching 90 Day Fiance. All right, guys. Our exclusive tea. Wifey's still there. She's not in the double tree. <laughs> <laughs> she's staying with friends exclusive very important tea um what was i gonna say she's never selling that necklace yeah nobody's gonna buy that necklace Second hand for two thousand dollars. Y'all wild. The single tree. Go outside and walk. Amber is on one tonight. We love to see it. New vlog tomorrow, girl. You. Did you edit the vlog for tomorrow? <laughs> um, ooh, one of my favorite ALR clips recently was when she was on with Destiny. And she was like, Destiny was like, Karina Kaboom, she's a nice lady. And Amber was like, are you kidding? <laughs> you haven't edited it yet, girl. You got work to do tonight. It'll be up at 11.59 tomorrow. 11.59 <laughs> p.m. <laughs> All right, guys. How long have we been on? Amber, do you believe Chantal's way in? Or do you think she's lying? Because you see what I see. Did you see the concerning footage? Can you guys imagine being over in Kuwait right now? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, honest, unfiltered thoughts on foodie beauty. You do believe her way in because when I started YouTube, I weighed the same as she does now. Girl, are you watching? Are you watching the same video that we're watching? You don't need to have her back. She would throw you under the bus in five seconds if it benefited her. We know the tea. They have like this un unholy alliance. <laughs> Amber and Foodie. Like you don't really know how they where they stand at any given time, right? Because you'll still hear Foodie Booty defending her all the time. Do a tarot for Amber? No. Katrina, thank you for being a member for 10 months. Alex and Amber collab hosted dating show for our girl. Right? Curvy Connections. Girl edition. Yeah, let's do Curvy Connections. Hosted by Alex's Shook, but like lesbian edition. I'm living for that. 
Y'all never believe our weigh-ins. <laughs> Not many people do, do they? Amber should get a welcome. Welcome! Welcome! Booty booty, footy booty, booty booty. Booty 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 rocking everywhere. Can you ask, oh, how she has the 80 Weight Watchers points? Well, she showed us a screenshot today. If you go back to the beginning and watch the vi watch the reaction, apparently she has the right weight in. I don't know. I did actually hear that somebody put it in and they did get 80. So I guess it's right. I don't know. Curvy connections with Amber Foodie Candy Pete's and S Jam. Whatever happened to S Jam? Last I saw, he was like burning the house down. Like he needed rehab. You need rehab. No, it doesn't look like S Jam's been on in three weeks. Did he go to rehab? I know people were like begging him to go. It's been three weeks. Case cooking parody. <laughs> LOL. Best of foodie beauty. Is this supposed to be foodie? Got to put some lipstick on the rim. Oopsie. <laughs> I forgot he existed. WW is dumb. Amber exclusive T, did you quit WW? T T T T T WW is over. You heard it here first, folks. Yikes. That's some T. Um, I thought you paid for like six months. I don't think they give refunds. <laughs> Imagine Foodie Beauty dating Amber. I don't think that would work out. Amber, or Foodie's not gay. I'm not fucking gay. Remember that when she was in Cuba? Foodie just pretended to be gay for Pride Month 2022. But now she doesn't support us anymore. She thinks we're haram. Yep, she was gay for a month, like a company on Twitter. That was her gig. And then she threw us to the back of the store. Yeah, remember her Instagram saying that she just couldn't support anymore? Why did that need to be said? Oh, yeah. She was literally mad at people because they didn't believe she was bi. And then she literally was like, I'm not fucking gay. <laughs> she moved us to the back of the store. <laughs> I don't support your lifestyle. I don't support your lifestyle. <laughs> she ate Debo. <laughs> she only did the thing with Debo because it would please Natter. You know, she only did that with Dee Dee because it would please Natter. So she was doing it for a man at the end of the day. That's not gay. She was doing that shit for her man. Mm -mm -mm. And Dee Dee too. Dee Dee would do whatever Natter said. Was it mutual? I mean, yeah, Dee Dee laid back and spread her leg. <laughs> Let's not get too into it. 
Yeah, Debo. <laughs> Mm. Amber says, I'm a lesbian, but I think Yo Mama is so cute. Really? Yo Mama? That's your type, Amber? <laughs> Keto is how people ate before agriculture. Yeah, people ate... Um, people were hunters and gatherers. They would just go out and get meat eat that mostly and just a little bit of whatever they could find berries and other goodies <laughs> berries yeah it's not a yo mama joke it's yo mama the reaction channel um or I haven't watched him really I've seen a little bit I know who that is I'm not going to pretend like I don't know who it is but I'm not like a regular viewer. I think I watched when Yaba went on. Yaba went on and talked to him. And then I've seen a couple of clips. You're going to block the star of Girl World? <laughs> Love that shade, girl. Keep it coming. Mm. Messy, messy. We're, we like eating meat. Mm -hmm. I'm a meat eater for sure. Like a good chicky nuggy every now and again. The star. Yeah, Amber's definitely the star. I mean, foodie, not so much anymore. Foodie wishes. <laughs> Foodie's irrelevant now. JK, JK. Amber, what do you think about going viral on Instagram for, what was it? I ordered an apple, but it wasn't that one. You went viral for the OCD obesity clip. You did take some data. Weed is legal here, so let's get it. Not here, not in PA. You did order an apple. Are you sticking to that? I don't think anyone believes that girl. They gave me two chips. Should we play? They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. <laughs> the obesity clip is so funny. You think so? That's good. I'm glad you're a good sport. You sent the obesity super chat. Oh, wait, you sent that mud flap. You caused that famous clip. The famous clip. <laughs> More Legos. Wait, why are you buying so many Legos if you have to move in like a month and a half? It just doesn't make sense. Laws, laws, laws. Weed is decriminalized in Philly. That's true. You can get like anything in Philly. Because you still want to preoccupy yourself. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's just, are you going to give them to a random person on Facebook marketplace? <laughs> for 20 lover. Thank you for the super chat. We'll, we'll catch the playback, but still wanted to send some love. Thank you for 20 lover. Welcome in. Welcome in. They finally made it legal in Maryland. Wait, really? Are they going to open up dispensaries in Maryland? Because that's like my closest state. Oh, you're just going to drop them off on Goodwill. That's what I thought, girly. <clears throat> Drop a link. Should we get her on here? <laughs> I'm actually starving. Yeah, weed's not legal in Kentucky. It's not legal in Kentucky. It's not legal in Pennsylvania. They're starting to like decriminalize it like in Philly. Like you can have up to 28 grams, I think. And you won't get charged, but they might confiscate it. But they don't really care. Like the Philly cops don't care. 
Um, Cause they just have better things to worry about than someone smoking, you know? I used to walk down the street smoking a blunt in Philly. You couldn't do that here. The cops would arrest you stupidly. They have nothing better to do than set up like speed traps and shit. It's so annoying. Amberlin Hungry Reed. Yet yeah, in New Jersey. You can go to the weed store. It should be decriminalized everywhere. I know, right? Like, who cares? It's corny. <laughs> right? Especially, and like in Chicago too, like you would see a lot of people just like smoking down the street, like whatever. Walking down the street. It smells like weed like everywhere now. Like if you're in the big cities, it smells like weed everywhere. Philly, Chicago, New York. New York especially because they have stores and shit. The chat is in shambles, girl. Girl world is in shambles. What's the girl world tea right now? Like who's fighting? I don't think anyone's fighting right now, right? They're worried about weed, about everything that goes on in Kensington is ignored. That's so true. Like, Kensington, there's people just, like, strung out on the street, like, dying on the street. It's scary. Never go to Kensington, guys. Never go. Oh, South Carolina. All I express vapes? No, I don't think I would put anything in my mouth from All I Express. <laughs> No makeup, no, um, yeah, nothing that goes on your face or in your mouth. You smoke but hate the smell. It smells like that, like, everywhere. Chantal dropped her lawsuit. Oh, yeah, remember Chantal was supposed to go to... Canada and file a lawsuit on FFG and Natter. Where is Kensington? Kensington is in, it's a neighborhood in Philadelphia, but yeah, you don't want to go there. It's, there's a lot of like fentanyl, you know, that word. H. People just like doing that on the street and yeah. It's where, like, when I went to rehab, like, a lot of the people would say, like, if they were desperate, they would go to Kenzie. Like, let's go down to Kenzie. A lol suit. Can I do a YouTube walkthrough of Kenzie? No, you're putting your life at risk going down there. Like, it's that bad. Especially me. Little old me. No. Maybe if I was, like, 6'2 with, like, hella muscles. <laughs> but no, my life would be at risk going down there. Little old me and Kenzie. One creator has been... Yeah, like, there are people that do, like, documentaries. And they go down there. I'm sure they have, like, a couple of people with them. Maybe. Some guards. <laughs> bodyguards. I would probably get harassed. Like, I was harassed in Philly just, like, walking around, like, a month ago. The nicer areas. <laughs> Foodie needs to be hospitalized. 
she doesn't have access to her medical care, you know? That's another thing that's really scary is that she has no medical care in Kuwait. I mean, she has access to it, but she has to pay for it, you know? She needs to be evaluated. Thousand pound YouTubers on TLC. Now you're talking. Now you're thinking twice of going to Philly. No, you're okay. Like, if you go to Center City, Fashion District, Gaborhood, South Street, Old City, University City, like, you're fine. Just don't go too far. It's like Chicago. You're from Chicago, right? You know there's certain places you can't go. Just look up where not to go. <laughs> there's plenty of places in Philly that are fine. It's like Chicago. Just don't go to some places. <laughs> Whose birthday? Oh, hi, Kenzie. Happy birthday. If she's not allowed to earn money, then that's why Salah wants her doing videos. What do you mean? Do you think Salah has like a hand in this? Do you think he's forcing her to do mukbangs? <laughs> White House hearing on F UFOs. It's on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll watch it. Or at least hear some news coverage. They'll probably use all this, like, jargon. I won't understand a thing. Northside Chicago. Are you from, like, Evanston? Amber hated reaction channels, right? They're all the same. They're all the same. Trafficked into mukbangs. Oh, my gosh. I am a ufologist. You're a Pittsburgh fan. I haven't been to Pittsburgh since 10 years ago. There's just not that much out there. Like, honestly, like, I live closer to New York City than I do to Pittsburgh. Like, Pennsylvania is a pretty big state. Pittsburgh's like far out there, girly. Um, Chikara. I will watch Chikara every now and then. Oh, you went to Pitt. Nice, nice. I know someone who goes to Pitt right now, actually. Where will I go next? I want to go to New York. Cité. But I don't know. Okay, okay. Chikara did an Amber reaction today. Visit you in NYC. I was thinking about taking like a spirit flight to LA because it was so cheap. People were saying it's like a cattle car. <laughs> <laughs> they squeeze you on there like cattle. You want to hang out, mud flap? Hit me up. You're on threads, right? Is that really you on threads? You look pretty normal. Host a meetup. I wouldn't want to do a meetup because I feel like nobody would come. <laughs> New York City meetup. I guess most of my viewers are from New York City area. But that's just because it's New York City, you know? So many people live there. I think my top cities are New York City and then LA. And then I don't know, maybe like Toronto or something. I want to go to Toronto. Spirit wasn't that bad. That's what I was thinking. Like, it's worth it for the price. Like, 
even if it is a cattle car. <laughs> is the live ending soon? Yeah, I think I'll stay up for like a minute. One more minute, one more minute. I got to go in the city to pick up. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I shouldn't even joke about that. Wasn't Sofa King from NYC? Was he? Rip. New Jersey. Yep, Amber's in here. Mm -hmm. Spirit isn't a deal. Is it not? Because you have to pay for, like, all the extras and stuff. You have to pay for, like, your whatever. Everything. Yeah, I did get my nose done. It looks a little red. Do you guys like it? Is the placement okay? I'm kind of worried about it. Party at your house? Let's have a girl world party. Can we have drama? Yeah, like bag fees and shit. Vegas. Did Amber unblock me? Not on Instagram, I don't think. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me on tonight's live stream. I will catch you guys very soon. Like I always said, if not tomorrow, then I will see you guys on Tuesday. But... Have a beautiful night and I hope you're weak. <clears throat> Have a beautiful night and enjoy your week. All right. See you very soon.